threatening us to go live. And, and <laughs> all of this. Oh, it was great it's, timing. It's, it was really good. It was absolutely <laughs> perfect. And now we're live. Uh, okay. Welcome to uh, what I'm calling it, Red Miss uh, Species Werewolf the Apocalypse Game, and I'm running it for the group that I usually run, that I usually play with on Tuesday nights. Plus, Miles just technically now taking the place of David because David just screwed he's something up, and yeah, he he's been apologizing for it, but. Mm. I don't know if I can accept that. It's, 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 you have to accept his apology. <laughs> metric clock screwed him up. Metric clocks. All right, so I've given everybody pre-gen characters, um, and uh, I'm actually I'm going to go into showcase and try to use that a little bit because that's sounded neat, so that I can link them to the rest of the world. Uh, okay, except I just closed it. Okay. Chris, yeah. type your character's name and and and. Type in the in the chat so we have it to refer to, if you would please. I'm a hipster named Scout. I need a half calf, double soy. <laughs> Which one is Chris playing again? I'm the hipster hacker. Oh. So does that mean you have to like use a uh, Commodore 64 to find hacker? <laughs> it just one? looks like a Commodore 64, but it's actually an Apple. And <coughs> I think it's on Apple. What? Try meeting yourself. So. Did you meet? I'd show you my Karino's form, but Shut you, up. Know, you can't see it. Shut up. And, yeah. <laughs> Ethel's echoing a bit. I don't want to put on headphones. I turned you up, Josh, because I can never hear a word you say, so let me put my headphones on, because otherwise I can't hear you. Did I just pronounce that right, by the way? Is it Karino's with a hard C, or is it like a soft C? Karino's, yeah. How would it be a soft C in front of an R? <laughs> Because Trinos, <laughs> that doesn't sound right. I don't know anything about Trinos. I pronounce, I pronounce my C. Yeah, hear it. Trinos and lupus to me means um, crinolins and lupus erythema or whatever it's called that disease. So. Yep. I don't. I don't know lupus. It's not lupus. It's never lupus. Not lupus. It's also never sarcoidosis. <laughs> That's I think I have a continuation of the house reference. It always <laughs> says that it's not lupus. <laughs> I see. Okay, so let's see. The hacker is... And for those of you watching, the one viewer that's actually currently watching, um, I just shared in the little uh, showcase thing all of the templates for all of the pre-gens if you feel like going and looking through them. So I've got Scout, who's the hacker. Scout just has one name, it's just Scout. Just Scout. Brenda Breedlove is a social worker. She, she went by one name before it was cool. <laughs> She's not old enough for that. Yeah, I was just thinking Cher, <laughs> Chotero, um, <laughs> Lucy. Yeah. You have to be pretty old to be that. Right. <laughs> okay, and can you, the, the other two of you that I haven't, that I don't have your names of, which is Miles and Josh, put the names of your, wait, never mind, just Miles. Hmm. Put the name of your character in chat because I know where it is, but I haven't seen it. I. Uh, did they put their, in chat? Yeah, uh, both of them did. Through, it's not working. Um, it's uh, Christine O. Mooney. Okay. Uh, let's see. Spencer, wait, Christine. Uh, burnout. Let's 
Sigrun, how do you even say that name? Uh, Sigrun 900 Hoffer. Sig. Okay. We're just gonna call you Sig. <laughs> Yo, Sig. Your sister's name is Kira. That seems rather simple in comparison. Maybe they were in out of characters and had Maybe. your sister something short. <laughs> They were just gave up by the time she came around. It didn't really matter. Uh. <laughs> okay, I think I have everything. Okay, so on your character sheets, you're going to find uh, the basic background of your character. Anything that I have in detail is open to interpretation, however you want to do it. I put some big things in there, like something mysteriously bad happened in your past, etc., etc. Feel free to embellish upon those if you feel, if you want to and see the need. Um, then after that is your character sheet, which says pretty simple, and I've removed large chunks of uh, what makes up the werewolf for the apocalypse system because I, I they're just not necessary in this in this. Uh, setting. Mm. I Usually you also have five forms that you can uh, werewolf into, that you can shapeshift into, <laughs> but I switched it out so that there's only three forms since we're going by Patricia Briggs's world. And technically one of those forms I don't think I've ever seen in her world, but is there because it's werewolf. So you can be Hamid form, Krinos form, or Lupus form. So you're either a full-on wolf, a wolf man, person, sorry, wolf, wolf woman, person, for all of you. I am um, a person of wolfness. <laughs> and uh, uh, a wolf. So those are your three forms. And there's no such thing as renown, honor, and all that crap just don't actually exist. Other than that, the rest of the rules should be as they stand. The Umbra, I'm, we're not, there's, there won't be anything to do with it. I haven't decided whether or not it actually exists in this world. I kind of think it's appropriate, but we won't be doing anything in there, so it won't matter. Um, and that's about it. So what I'm going to actually have you guys do is to introduce yourselves to the audience one at a time and give like a really, really brief overview of what it is that you, how you understand your background as you've read it and have decided to apply it to your unique character now that you've created your unique character. And I'm going to start with Brenda. Oh, so Brenda Breedlove, I was born 62 years ago. Um, when I was in college, I... Um, was roommates with doormate with a girl and she was really messed up and I felt so bad for her because that's the way I am rather than saying I'm just gonna get away from her I tried to help her and um, turns out she was a werewolf and one night I went out into the uh, quad and saw her crying hysterically and run off into the woods and I followed her Next, one thing led to another, and that's when I became a werewolf too. <laughs> one thing led to another. <laughs> well, the, the, no, the, no, the important part of that is one thing led to another. <laughs> I became a werewolf too. As well. Yeah. So there's a yada 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 in there that she left out. <laughs> yes, there is. Yada yada yada. All right, Sarah, your turn. Uh oh. All right, uh, Autumn is 82, although she appears to be in her mid-20s, and she is a detective in the Bellingham Police Department. Uh, she specifically works on uh, gangs cases. Uh, so uh, a long time ago, she um, was, she's always been a warrior, and she was in the Korean War. Uh, her and her platoon got cornered and gunned down, and she, you know, should have died, yet somehow... She woke up with all of, all of the rest of the soldiers dead around her, and then the next uh, full moon, she wolfed out. Uh, so she she knows, you know, uh, she probably has a, a destiny within her werewolf life that uh, she has to fulfill. Um, but she just can't quite like get it all together, you know. Can't can't quite bring the full alpha. So that is awesome. Awesome. Autumn, yes, this is a detective. 
It's interesting how that when the when the gender thing starts coming into play when I have things like the Korean War and mm -hmm. platoons <laughs> and I yeah. thought about that too whenever I was like, oh, of course I'm going to be a female werewolf detective from the Korean War. <laughs> <laughs> Seems legit. <laughs> totally legit. <laughs> no such thing as realism around here. Besides, you could have been with a mass unit, in which case you would have been, you know. You were a nurse. You were a nurse. <laughs> <laughs> I was not a fucking nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a gun. <laughs> it was like it was like the what is it in Agent Carter, the Leviathan program or something like that. <laughs> Black Widow for werewolves. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Black Widow and werewolves. Okay, that works. Josh, your turn. Okay, well, Sigrun is uh, 27. She works as a bouncer. And um, basically, she works as a bouncer because she's not too smart, but she does get angry, and uh, she's pretty strong. But the way that she got turned was while working as a bouncer, she got into... Uh, trying to stop a drunken knife fight and uh, got fatally wounded trying to stop that and trying to save the people around her. And uh, the area's alpha just uh, that had been, you know, keeping watch on her because it's the get of Fenris and they like strength and stuff. Uh, decided to save her by turning her and kind of just hasn't looked back since. You know, more bouncing, more fighting, it's good. <laughs> bouncing and fighting, fighting and bouncing. Mm, that's pretty much about it. Awesome. All right, Chris, that brings us to you. Um, my character's name is Scout. Um, she appears to be in her mid twenties. Her favorite uh, musicians are uh, Grimes and Zola Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and she's a hacker. And oh, and she likes hats. <laughs> That's all you're gonna share? Yep. The rest is going to be the, the, the rest is pass? going to be revealed through the role play. <laughs> all right. <laughs> to interpret him, Dan. <laughs> she's she's a, a, a big fan of um, of uh, Martha Graham. Yes. <laughs> all right. That leaves us with Miles. Uh, I'm playing uh, Christine O. Mooney, who frequently refers to herself as Moon Moon because that, it's hilarious. Is that ironic? No, not not ironic. Like, it's just funny. <laughs> she saw the internet once, and they had Moon Moon on it, and that's the best. Um, she frequently will crash on anybody's couch uh, as long as there's food. There's probably food. I'll sniff it out. And um, I do a lot of not anything else. All right. So for those of you uh, watching at home, that makes the bouncer Josh's character is an Arum Geta Fenris. Fenris? Fenris? Fennel. That's new. Sarah's character, the detective Autumn, is a Philodox White Howler. Oh, she's a cool. Howler. Yes, Ethel's character, the White Howlers, is, is have actually been not existent for a very, very long time. For those who don't know werewolf lore, they are one of the lost tribes. And she she's probably old. wouldn't have heard of them. Yes, you never probably. She's weird. And, oh, yeah. And, yeah, she's and the so weird one in the pack. <laughs> Everybody she has, looks at her. She's the weird one in the pack. That's going yeah. to be a lot of work in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone kind of looks at her like they expect her to do something totally and completely amazing all the time because she's the last of her, her pack and nobody knows exactly how she came to be. Um, so that's what she's like. She's exceptional. The child that's always expected to be better. Oh God! And I'm not gonna be able to role play. <laughs> I, 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 I make I make her character a mixtape. <laughs> <laughs> Ethel's character Brenda Breedlove is a Philodox stargazer, and she's a social worker. Chris's character. What's your character's name again? 
Scout. Scout. It's one word. How can I not remember? Scout is a, a theurge glasswalker, and Miles's character, Christine, is a ragabash bonar. So if any of you know what any of those mean, there you go. The rest of you, I just kind of built in what they are into their background and kind of into their character, and you'll have no problems playing them. Okay, so on your character sheets, underneath the actual character sheet part, you, there's also um, who you know and what you know. So who you know is are the connections, the direct connections you have to everybody, um, both NPCs and the other PCs in the world. And what you know is some information that you've retrieved within the last month or so each about various things that will soon come together and make sense once you all get a chance to talk to each other. And then underneath that, there's something that I call system notes. And the system notes um, are it's kind of like a cheat sheet because rage, gnosis, and willpower are all currency, basically, that you can use to power various things, to handle re-rolls, to get automatic successes, all of these kind of things. Some of your gifts actually directly use some of these things and whatnot. So there's a quick reference sheet for you in case you're thinking of what can I do, how can I make this roll better, what kind of things can I spend on this stuff. Some of you have fetishes. Um, those that do it, your fetishes, what it is, is written right next to next to, you know, the name of the fetish. You'll need to make a gnosis roll against the, whatever the number is, is the difficulty where it says gnosis, whatever, next to your fetish. That would be the difficulty. So, the spider satchel doesn't actually need to be rolled ever. Oh, uh, let's see. Nixus's bangle, for instance, in order to activate it, you would have to roll your gnosis score against the uh, difficulty of six and get at least one success. Um, your gifts... I put on each of your gifts, I also explained what they are and what they do and how you use them. So you shouldn't have to worry about wondering how they work. And that pretty much covers all of your character sheets. The setting. Uh, we're setting you in Bellingham, Washington. Bellingham, Washington happens to be my hometown. It's where I grew up. So this is a little weird in some aspects, but also fun in lots of other aspects. Uh, your pack is the Salish pack. It's not a very large pack. This area is, you know, is Bellingham has 80,000 people in it, and the surrounding cities have much fewer people in them each. There's lots of farmland out here. There's dairies. There's um, obviously the Cascade Mountains. There's Mount Baker, which is very close by, about 30 minutes away, which is a popular ski resort. And there's fishing. There's tons of fishing that can be done. There's ferries that go out of Bellingham to uh, Alaska all the time, as well as cruise boats that come in and, and leave out of it. Your pack is you know, maybe about 20 or so at a time. You're fairly close, as, as most packs are, but you don't really know everybody in the pack all the time, and it doesn't really matter. You all have your own little jobs that you do and, and things that you need to do. Your alpha, his name is... Um, what did I name him? That's on the other tab. His name is Pierce Bailey, and he's actually the chief of police for uh, the Bellingham Police Department, so at least one of you has a pretty direct connection to him. Um, the rest of you, you get barked at a lot by your alpha. He's hardcore like they all are. Uh, the beta for your pack is a, a transgender woman uh, who is a black fury, and her name is Morgan Lindsay. She handles most of the day-to-day -day operations of the actual pack, and when things need to be done, she's the one who's going to make sure that they get to be done. So leaving the alpha to make all of the big alpha-like decisions that he's got to make. In the world that you're in, this is um, the world from Patricia Briggs' Mercy Thompson series. I'm setting it, give or take, about um, a decade-ish or so after the werewolves first started coming out. I don't even know if that, that timeline is actually active in her books right now. So, the people, there are two types of supernaturals that have actually come out to the world by now. The Fae and the um, werewolves. And the Fae are nothing like changelings are in World of Darkness. They're more like changelings are in the new World of Darkness. They're, they're more like um, creatures from fairy more than they are uh, changelings or any one particular thing. Um, let's see what else. I say um a lot when I do this, and I'm now becoming very aware of it. So I'm going to say random things until I stop saying um and remember where it is where I left off. I don't actually
actually know if there's anything else I need to tell you guys. How many uh, fistfuls of D10s do we need to roll at any given time? Ah, when you're making a, a, a roll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you two stats that you're going to roll together and you're going to make a pool of those two stats. So it'll be something like for a, if I wanted to do a, a regular perception roll, I want to see if you notice something around you, that would be wits plus alertness. So if your wits is three and your alertness is two, you roll five D10s. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a target that I actually will ask you to reach for, which would be somewhere like five, six, seven, depending on what it is. I'm going to actually have to load up the target numbers so that I remember what they are. I forget, though, I believe tens explode. In the world of darkness? I'm trying to remember. It does, they do in, in, in New World of Darkness in some places, and I'm trying not to... I'll double check <laughs> for you. Thank you. I can't remember because wasn't weren't all the old World of Darkness rules a little bit different? Yeah, they're just a little bit different, just enough to get you screwed up. I can't remember. Well, I can look it up though. Rolling dice. Actually, I can't because this 20th anniversary PDF is a pain in the ass. It is really hard. Yeah, if I try to open it in Acrobat, I can't scroll through it at all. It just keeps chugging and chugging and chugging. I have to open it in Preview. I can scroll through it. It's just there's so much text you can't actually pick anything out. Oh yeah, that's 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 just a world of darkness thing. Oh, God. <laughs> that could be about time so much. <laughs> la, 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 la. No. Oh hey, so you'll never be rolling more than ten dice in a dice pool. It's effectively impossible according to that this thing. That's good to know. Any other questions? Okay. That is just a 10, as always, as it says, blah, blah, blah. We'll totally ask as we go along. Where, where can I get locally sourced coffee? Uh, there's the... <laughs> but anywhere. The supermarket so, has so, 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 Autumn, what's your favorite band? <laughs> I don't have time for music. I've got important cases to solve. <laughs> do you have a cassette player? No, I do not. I live in the 21st century, and I toss the mixtape in the backseat of my car. <laughs> oh, okay. The other thing that botches yeah, the, yeah, that, that I totally <laughs> missed. Um, yeah, I think that's. I think they don't explode at all. I think that. Uh, Botches are different, though. Okay, so when you when you do make that roll that I'm going to make you have, you're like rolling seven dice, and I say that your target number is six, every one that you get cancels out a success. So if you get two sixes and one one, you only have one success because that one cancels out that other success. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> if you roll a complete botch, which is much worse than a f failure... I believe is if you roll all ones. Well, that should be just a uh, very, very low. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. It's only if you roll no successes that botches occur. Yeah. Okay. So if you have, if you ha if it goes into negative, you get a box botch. So if you rolled one six and two ones, you botched. Mm -hmm. Dice only explode on specialties. Okay. Oh, yeah, and I didn't put any specialties. So, no explosions, because Stacy didn't make specialties. This is like a bay free zone. <laughs> okay. So, that's the, the basics. I'll probably have to look things up uh, as we get rolling, but the, for two or three times after we start doing things, it'll all come back and snap back into place. <sighs> all right. So, here's where you're going to start out. You've all been summoned to the pack house by Morgan, the beta. She wants to talk to you about a problem that's actually been happening around town lately, and she needs to put together a tactical group to take care of it, find out what's going on, and put issues to rest. Pack House is located in Ferndale, which is a, a farming community just outside of Bellingham and within Whatcom County. And it's, a, it's an old dairy. It's nice big. Can I get raw milk? Yes, you can get raw milk. Sweet. 
You could also get eggs and other things. There's signs of strawberries, raspberries, summer. Mm. Well, we should just do oh, that instead summer. of having this adventure. That's <laughs> I put all my dots into farming. <laughs> no, that's precious dark. One game. So, um, let me ask you, based on what all of your connections are, let's talk about who's connected to you. The detective has the most connections to everybody because that's kind of her job. I decrypt the detective's files. Oh. <laughs> well, I know that. I am down with slumming. Down with slumming. Okay, you're going to have to hitch a ride out to the pack house with somebody because you don't have a car. Unless I, have a you're oh. the I have a Vespa. <laughs> oh, no, wait. Oh. You have a car. I take that wrong. You have a car. It's the bow it's the burnout who doesn't have a car. Who doesn't have a car? I burnout have a doesn't button. have a car. And I think everybody else has resources. I'll have a car. Something. Well, she's just gonna ride with Sigrun anyway. Because she's staying on my couch. Yeah. Okay. My the, the helmet has the third man record logo on the side. There is no way in hell I would ride anywhere with you. <laughs> Are you sure Down with Slumming isn't your favorite band? <laughs> <laughs> all right, at the house, you are all shuffled into the kitchen where um, she's waiting with some fresh cookies. Oh, what kind of cookies? Are they organic? The chocolate chip cookies. Oh. Is that, did you just ask her if they're organic? Well, of course I did. Of course they're organic. <laughs> Are those corporately sponsored chocolate chips? I'll eat her cookies. <laughs> I'll put some in my pocket for later. <laughs> did you just say you ate my cookies? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, the slow Not boy. in front of the boss. <laughs> Oh, she says, waiting for everybody to settle down. <laughs> <coughs> and I'm going to make myself look like her. I look disapprovingly at them all. <laughs> I ask if anyone has the new Jack White album. Oh. oh. <laughs> I will eat more cookies. <laughs> I wonder, let's see if I can do this right. She says, uh, there's been a little bit of a problem that's come up lately, and Alpha has me to take care of it somehow. I don't know. It seems like it should be like a police thing, but he still asked me to take care of it. So that's why all of you are sitting here today. Okay. So um, you're passing your work on to us. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. That's my job. There you go. All right. Hey, hey, if you want to, you know, delegate, I will I will learn from that. I will take, you? I take an Instagram of my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Do please pay attention, all of you. It has become to our attention that there's been a drug that's been let out onto the market that we think is supernatural in nature. Not exactly sure where it came from. That's what we want you to all find out. This seems like a good sort of group of people to be able to handle it. Do you have any questions? Have any of uh, you heard anything and know what I'm talking about? I think we should have ask I? the burnout. Because if anyone knows about <laughs> drugs, it would be her. That's true. My, my character's straight edge, so she wouldn't know. <laughs> Why are you looking at me? <laughs> I, well, so, as a social worker, I have... 
Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, I, I, I heard little rumors, but I haven't actually met anyone yet who I've come in contact with professionally who seems to um, be on any kind of new drug. So, but, I, but I have heard rumors on the street about this great new drug. I don't know much about it, though. Mm. I, I, wasn't, I wasn't actually listening because I was taking pictures of my shoes. What was the name of this drug again? <laughs> I didn't actually tell you what the name of the drug was. Well, how can, I search, how can I search on Twitter for it if I don't know what the name of it is? <laughs> it's, I don't uh, know what the name of it is. It's Red Mist because uh, the junkies are talking about it. Has and one of the... Desperation. One of the, uh, I don't know the slang for, one of the beat cops brought in this guy who is, who is just ranting about it and how he's going to live forever. Live forever, really? Yeah. Um, but then it, it's, it was kind of like um, bath salts. It gave him, like, crazy strength. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Isn't that one of these people crazy strength? I might not be that good with drugs. No, it's bath salts. You were right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I actually, I'm really shocked that you knew that. So. I do have access to the internet. Um. So, who is that that I'm looking at on the screen? Alpha, the beta. Sorry, Morgan. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh, if we need any further leads then uh, my coworker over at the place that I you know bounce for um, might be a drug dealer and might have some connections or knowledge so we can always go and uh, I don't know rough her up or something you know you really used to get some better class friends man not the kind that makes you want to say let's go rough them up oh, I mean, come on what else am I going to do really <laughs> Study, work hard, apply yourself. <sighs> Sounds like work. <laughs> how about how about if I tweet, "Hey, does anyone knew that know this new drug?" Hashtag Red Mist. I don't see how that would help anything. You do that. Okay, right. <laughs> it's a fine because I already did. <laughs> By the way, my Twitter is Wolf Girl LOL. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I have to see if um, so right after she says I already did I, I pull a vial out of um, my satchel and say what this stuff the hell man what's that where'd you get that oh, people it's open uh, people what kind of people the kind of people you buy drugs from. <laughs> Hashtag duh. I, I didn't buy it and I didn't take it. Um, I just got it from somebody. She reaches out to take the vial and kind of get a look, good look at it. On the inside of it, there's a, a red liquid that's been really watered down, it looks like. She gives a little bit of a shake. And then she looks at all of you. It's too bad we don't have a scientist among you to be able to figure out what this is. <laughs> if, only, if only we had a marine biologist on our team. <laughs> uh, we could we could ask uh, Basha, the uh, honey medical examiner. Ah, uh, yes, she might be able to help. Um. I could I could upload a picture to Instagram <sighs> and then Google it. <laughs> it gets you. It gets you a set of stock photos. <laughs> <From Shutterstock. laughs> uh, let's see. Well, one of my little sister's friends, um, her dad is the CEO of uh, Biotech, so maybe they can do something. Yeah, Biotech. It sounds. Scientific. You mean a turn attack? I have no idea. I'm just a bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> Those are big words, really. A turn attack? Yes, they 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 they've been around for a couple of, for no no about a dozen years, right? 
Right? I think I've heard of them. They've got a place out in Birch Bay. You know. What? I happen to know the CEO of Etern Attack. Oh. Well, that's handy. But wait, why would you think it would have something to do with Etern Attack, though? Well, because it's the only biotech person I know. <laughs> <laughs> and you know it has and anything we, to do with biotech. Need, we need a scientist. Well, because it's red. <laughs> what? Makes sense. Hashtag duh. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, she's sending all this in tweets. She's not actually talking to us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have at mentioned the... the uh, I've been subtweeting the CEO of, of Eternatech this whole time, so... Uh, have you really? Yes. What have you been subtweeting? Um, <laughs> references to um, Resident Evil. I'm, I'm going to break your phone at some point. I, I have I have more than one. I'm not surprised. And a, and a phablet. <laughs> <sighs> All right. And well, she sighs, I take her picture and upload it to Instagram. Oh, stop that. So, so as, stop talking about fucking Resident Evil and, and like, do something useful. I am months. doing something useful. I I I at mentioned the CEO of Eternity. Morgan growls. No. And makes everybody oh. shut up. <laughs> I just I will, said, Morgan growls wasn't the name of the CEO of Eternity. Right. <laughs> there for a moment. <laughs> I will unwillingly lower my head. Yes. Well, you have your job, and look, it looks like you have a great beginning leads for it. So get out. <laughs> I you're making today. Or in Scout speak, hashtag GTFO. <laughs> Precisely. Hash, hash, hashtag STF. Yeah. Okay, you, you missed your timing on that one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I blew that one. <laughs> All right. So let me recap. <laughs> Autumn, you're going to go talk to the medical examiner. Yes. I should go Scout, with Autumn. You're going to uh, correspond in some odd way with <laughs> Eternatech and find out if they have a lab that could do an analysis on this. Sure. Okay. After I set up a new Tumblr uh, about Autumn. There you go. <laughs> um, I'm all for that. And so, so. So, Seagrin, you're going to go rough up your friend? Have I got this right? <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and Mooney, are, are, are you just going to go find another couch? What are, you, what are you doing? Well, I figured I'd finish off these cookies. That seemed important. I think you're right, and I eat a cookie myself. I, I think what we should do is that, that Autumn and I should go to the medical examiner and then go to the offices of a turn attack. I, I believe that Brenda isn't doing nearly as much, so she should take you. Oh, I don't think that I really <laughs> think I don't want it to go to an attack. I think that might not be good because um, I think I should stay with Moon. Moon needs me. Moon's homeless. Moon needs me. <sighs> All right. Uh, why, why don't you two come with Hash, me? Hashtag, hashtag Lasai. <laughs> why don't you come with me and, and scout... See, if you drive, I can tweet the whole time. Yeah, right. yeah, that's good. And then um, poor, uh, what's her name? What is Josh's character's name? Sig will be all alone and in jail after she assaults her friend, so we'll be good. Yeah. <laughs> well, since the police chief is okay with that, I think we'll be good. All right, then. <laughs> well, and, Mo, well, why don't you come with us? <laughs> I, I can go with Sig Sauer because... Uh, I call shot done. Well, it's it's near where I'm staying anyway. Can can I can I can I hit the button for the for the siren? No. Can I can, can I wear my helmet with the third man record logo in the car? Oh, I realized that you, you on it. 
I realized that you were a hipster hacker, but what I didn't get was that you also had ADD. <laughs> you didn't mention that in your bio. You want to keep us abreast no, of that. I, I said the important things were going to come out during play. <laughs> On the rails, is it? <laughs> Welcome Rails? To my, well, welcome to my world. <laughs> Three of okay. you are going to uh, talk to Basha, and it might be... Well, we actually get to go into the morgue, because that would be yeah. hashtag awesome. Yeah, it's, it's nighttime. It's nighttime, so you get to talk to Basha. That's... We, we can let you see the dead bodies up real close and personal. <laughs> you think they're going to take a picture? Let's lock him in a, in a drawer. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> oh, those things don't have handles on the inside, do they? <laughs> and the other two of you are going to go to rumors and rough up um, possible drug Gloria. dealer. Gloria? Whatever her name is. Gloria. She might be a drug dealer. She might just like this. Yeah, Gloria. I, I figure I would just um, ask her if I could get some more of the stuff she gave me. Okay. All right, so... Oh, it was her. That's a new tidbit of information there. I'm holding it for a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Not mine. I'm just holding it. Okay. Yeah. So random die roll says we're going to go to the scene at the morgue first. So, Autumn, are you cool? With what? <laughs> what in particular? You running the siren? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think she wants to light one up. Oh, fuck no! Cop car! What's wrong with you? <laughs> All right. We can just say it, that you, you got a suspect and they were smelly. You don't have to go that far to get to the morgue because it's a small town. <laughs> we're there now. <laughs> so you're there. <laughs> no more talking has to be done. <laughs> Oh, that's not going to stop us. For the rest of the game. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Be We're serious. We're greeted at the door by Zoe, who is the, um, the assistant to... Oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe I can just share this. I think I will. Who's the assistant to... Who's, who's Basha's assistant. I should make things that are easier for me to say. By Basha, do we mean the 80s uh, singer? No, that's just her name. Is it spelled the same way? I don't know how the 80s singer's name is spelled, so I don't know if that is true or not. We're just going to have to... Where the hell? Oh, there it is. There you go. And she... Oh! She looks a little wow. worse for wear. <laughs> yeah. Well, she. Well, yeah. Okay. She does look like that. Actually, she works in a morgue. What am I thinking? Um. And she looks a little harried, and and her her glasses are kind of low on her nose, and she looks up, and she she spies Autumn, and she sighs audibly. What do you want now? Can I see um, a corpse? Can we lock her in a drawer? Oh, we could try. I'd awesome. love to do that. Yes. What do we need uh, to roll? And then I was wondering it, if you could examine this liquid for us and figure yeah, out what it is. Did the drawers get Wi-Fi? What? <laughs> <laughs> did the drawers get Wi-Fi? Is that what you just yeah. asked? <laughs> I don't know. Let's try it. We can put you in there to see what happens. Yeah, you should check that because that could come in handy the, later. The tweets are coming from inside the drawer. The drawer. <laughs> <laughs> What? So she takes the uh, the vial that you offer over, and, and she says, where'd you get this? Around. Spies. You don't, don't need to lie, know. Autumn. You can tell her that it's a part of an ongoing investigation of a suspect that you've taken into custody. What she said. You do, what? You've taken a suspect into custody? Who? Well, there, there was this, this guy who was kind of going out of control. I think he he's he's definitely just like a user. He's not the manufacturer, so that's what I'm really trying to find. Can oh. I explain it to her? Uh, I thought no, you were going to put your hand down. Works. <laughs> what, Scout? It's it's classified top secret. Oh! 
It's classified top secret, but Autumn just told me, and she's the only one that has classified top secret access to anything. I have spiders. <laughs> so, like I pain. have rats. What can I, I have a rat, too. You have a rat and spiders? Yes. Awesome. I'm going to be my spiders are named after the sister from Pain. <laughs> Would you like to know who they are, Autumn? No. no. So, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> she says, well, um, I suppose we can take a look. Um... Come on in. Basha would probably be the one that has to really take a look at it. I mean, I mean, not Basha. Her name is 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 Doctor, um, um, whatever her last name is. Markov. Thank you, Doctor Markov. <laughs> Doctor Markov would have to take a look at that. I think. You Come on, back this way. Just follow me, all of you. It's not awfully friendly there. <laughs> Well, he's really, really busy lately. Do you have a centrifuge? People like to die a lot. Yes, we do. Why are you so busy? This town's only 8,000 people. 80,000. <laughs> it was 80,000. Yeah, 80, well, no busy. Boy, the population is plummeting. <laughs> <laughs> Matt is in Brenda's strong point. <laughs> Yeah, I'm from L.A. They, anything under a million seems like 8,000 to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, she takes you back into the, um, what do they call it, the exam room, where, where those big slabs of metal are that they lay out the bodies, and there's a few of them that are laid out. I take a selfie. <laughs> so disrespectful. <laughs> I should have I, turned up ultra bright. Hashtag Mord. I sort of, oh. like, nose around the bodies yeah, surreptitiously to see if there's any marks of a supernatural death amongst them. Marks of natural death? I, have, I think I broke Supernatural. With it. <laughs> if there are any, you know, claw marks. You know, things like that. All right, let's roll some dice. Oh my god, I actually caused an action. <laughs> First one of the game, people. Don't fail. You're obviously doing it wrong. I must be. Oh, oh my roll for me. Yes. I'll be right back. What'd you say? She said she'd oh, be right back. She'd be right back, okay. Um, so what you're going to roll is... What are you doing? Are you just giving them a quick glance over, or are you tr are you looking? Are you being nosy, really nosy, and like looking really closely at them? Um, I think I'm looking pretty closely until somebody tells me to stop. So. Okay, so that roll that I'm gonna have you make is gonna be. Intelligence, I think it is, plus investigation. Uh, I have a two in intelligence and a two in investigation. So I roll four dice. Four dice. Your target number is going to be... I should make your target number. What is Enigmas? That's what I wondered, too. It's going to be the target number six. Enigmas is solving puzzles and things, and things like that. I take a jigsaw puzzle out of my pocket and start working on it then. Okay, you do that. It's a, it's a pocket jigsaw puzzle. It's only got like 20 pieces. Remember that every one you roll takes away from any successes that you have. I didn't roll any ones. I rolled a 10, an 8, an 8, and a 7. Wow. You got four successes. Yeah. Four successes is ex exceptional. I'm an exceptional social worker. <laughs> There's three bodies here, and two of them look like they were probably in a shootout of some sort. And the third one actually looks like they, um, it looks like a suicide, this one actually does. Um, and um, it looks like they hung themselves. And But the, the thing that makes you think that there's some supernatural relation to it is that their, their eyes are, the white parts of their eyes are 
completely red. Like every single blood vessel within their eyes burst all at the same time. And the color of the red is just not really natural. Oh, does it seem to be red. like the right. color in the bio? Uh, yeah, it's a it's a uh, it's that same color value, but with the transparency taken down. Yeah. Or turned up, whatever. Okay. Well, I I, I, I I nudge Autumn and sort of pass along that information. What? Someone killed themselves? Something's fishy about it. The eyes are wonky and it's the same color as that color in the bottle. Mm. You mean like blood? Sort of, but not like normal blood. Like I will. Is uh, is the medical examiner still in the room? Oh. Can anybody hear me? Yeah, I can hear yeah. you. Can you? I just can't uh, hear you. Hello. Can you hear us? I can hear you. Hello. 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 Technical difficulties as usual, but can anyone hear me? Way if you can hear me. Hashtag dead air. Okay, so I just can't hear you. Fantastic. We can hear a cat. <laughs> that's mine. <laughs> but that's not a surprise. Of course, that's my cat. Right, Pookie? Hey, Pookie. She need to, uh, well, did she, oh, she can go leave it and come back in, right? Yeah. So we can bicker while we wait. It's giving Scout time to do hashtags and Instagrams. Um, okay, so while I was going to get my beer and just checking, so Ethel, you checked the bodies and determined... Oh, yeah. The Two of them were involved in some kind of shooting. The, the last one is an apparent suicide, but... The eyes, like the entire whites of the eyes, is this weird red color. I asked if it was the same as the red in the in the vial, and it was much more transparent in the vial, but it's the same color value. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yeah. Am I Can causing any feedback? No. no. Oh, good. Okay. Well, then I guess I just take my headphones yes. out because the the yes. the headphone port. Yes. What? <laughs> the headphone jack on my microphone just spontaneously stopped working, and when I plug it into my oh. Mac, it wants to go off of the. That doesn't annoying. Okay. It sucks. So, but that's okay because then I don't have to actually have headphones in. Like I feel weirdly free at the moment. Back. I don't know what to do. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> what, what what were people saying when I suddenly lost? <laughs> I was just, um, actually, Sarah, uh, Autumn was asking, Autumn was asking. Okay. oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's a, that's that's a fact. fact. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, hang on a sec. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I can't talk. It's going to be like that. Well, I think Stacy's disconnected. You can probably talk. Okay. Uh, so um, let's get let's get Scout in that morgue drawer. Yeah. I think Scout is in a morgue drawer. <laughs> so because I believe Chris is frozen. Kind of frozen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the question is: Is there Wi-Fi in the morgue drawer? Mm. Say something to us, Stacy. Something. No, we okay. Can't you. You're good. And no echo. Yeah, good, good. Okay. And luckily, Chris seems to be frozen, so we can actually play. <laughs> <laughs> That's so not nice. <laughs> okay. So the question was, is Dr. Uh, Morkamp or whatever her name is here? Dr. Markov, you asked, you asked, that, so Dr. Markov pokes around just about the same time that somebody said it looks like blood, right? Of course she did. Right. That was, that was <laughs> she comes waltzing out of uh, the office and uh, looks at all of you and uh, looks down at her clipboard and then looks at all of you and 
asks, can I help you? Yeah. Uh, Dr. Markov, um, got a, a little bit of some stuff going on here. Uh, could you tell us about these bodies? What? <laughs> do you have a warrant for that? Oh, do not get in my face with warrants. <laughs> warrants this, warrants that. I'm investigating the case. I'm going to figure out this around my morgue and look at every single one of my bodies without any reason. Why is it that you want to look at my bodies? Why do you assume the worst of me? Because you're a detective. Uh, fucking vampires. So, there's this drug. Not very nice. <laughs> You're not very nice. I'm trying to get work done here. <laughs> so, have you heard of Red Mist? Red Mist. Looks like blood. Seems like something you'd be into. Is there a new drug on the street? I don't do drugs. I don't even drink from people who have done drugs, or alcohol for that matter. I'm completely organic. You should totally hang out with Scout. That aside. <laughs> <sighs> I'm trying to figure I out what the struggle is. I heard a couple of the other detectives who came in here the other day with, they said a prisoner had hung himself. Hmm. And they brought some guy in, not this guy here who also hung himself, but it was some other guy, and they did mention something about red mist, so that it was some sort of drug. Why? I just figured it was just some new drug that came up on the market. You know how it goes. Yeah, but this is uh, this is some really bad shit. We're trying to figure out who's making it and get it off the streets. Oh, I suppose I could help. Do you have any of it with you? Uh, yeah. And I'm assuming that, you know, um, Sig had given, or not Sig, uh, Mooney. Yeah, Moon handed it over. Had had given me some, so. Okay, so she she looks at the the vial and sniffs it a couple of times, and she says, "Um, <coughs> hang on a second, I'll be right back. Stay here. I'm going to my lab. Drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that? Yeah, we me we measured it before you go. <laughs> how much is in that bottle?" <laughs> She flips you off as she walks out the door. <laughs> I go and stare at uh, the creepy dead bodies. <laughs> I show you the guy's eyes. Look, I lift up one eyelid. Is that creepy? That's kind of creepy. True. Zoe walks over and leans over and she says, well, what's creepy about it? His eyes. Look at him. You need to get out more. Zoe. <laughs> Why? Living <laughs> people are so boring. Ooh. I'm, I'm not even sure I can begin to parse that logic. I, I think that might be beyond me. Well, I'm a living person, so... Are you boring? This is self-deprecating. Do you bore yourself? That's Probably. I'm, I'm bored now. <laughs> let me see. Let, let me think about it for a sec. Yeah, you're right. You're boring. <laughs> We're such terrible people. All right. <laughs> He moves off the skull. <laughs> About 20 minutes or so later, Dr. Markov comes back, and uh, she's uh, she's carrying a, a vial, a different vial than the actual injection vial that it was in, where she's actually separated everything out. I wonder if Chris is ever going to come back. Should I invite him again? Yeah, I was kind of wondering if he was going to try, or if he was like, screw this world of darkness. I'll text him. <laughs> Hopefully that gets Roderick like, down or something. Yeah, I hope it's not something... Usually he'd be back by now with a normal yeah. crash. Yeah, I'll send a text to this Check list. Twitter. Make sure he's not like... Are you tweeting? Text. I'm all alone! <laughs> maybe, maybe he got too into his character. <laughs> he's going to go buy a new hat. <laughs> I asked. I, I sent him a text. Asked him if he was dead. <laughs> well, won't he not <laughs> answer if he really is dead? Isn't that an impossible question to answer? 
Yes, but if he answers in any way, then I'll know he isn't. Oh, good, okay. Well, in the meantime, then, she says, uh, she says there's definitely vampire blood in this, whatever it is. Whoa. Mm -hmm. There's also a lot of other stuff. Like? Uh, well, chemicals, some, some narcotics, and uh, some sort of binder that would bind the genetic uh, DNA of one person onto the genetic DNA of the vampire blood. It's very sophisticated the way that it's done. And uh, very hold, on, hold on, Doc. I'm, I'm not a, a science person. What did all that mean? Oh, good grief. <laughs> what I, mean? want, I wander back into the room with a, a uh, six-pack of coffee. <laughs> Oh, good, you brought coffee. Uh, do vampires drink coffee? <laughs> no. Vampires drink coffee. Werewolves do. Oh. Give me one of those. <laughs> <laughs> she likes the taste of it. doesn't necessarily do anything for her. Unless you put blood in it. That would so be the, the doctor's a, uh, a vampire? Yes. Sweet. The more the, the Emmy is a vampire, her, her good assistant... Job for, good job for a vampire. <laughs> Inappropriate. I asked her okay, what, her so what her Twitter name is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Bathory. Oh, that <laughs> sweet. <That's funny. laughs> I, I, I add her. <laughs> it's really just at Bathory. She got in at the ground yeah. floor. <laughs> All right, so you were about to tell us what all of that mumbo-jumbo meant in layman's terms? What it means is that somebody is doing some sort of strange experimentations with vampire blood. And since the vampires aren't supposed to actually be out to the public, that's a big problem. Mm. So you'll help us, because it sounds like we have overlying interests here. Help you what? Figure Find out, out who what? the hell is doing this. Well, you know, I usually see the end results here. <laughs> Surely you have, you know, blood-sucky friends. Well, yeah, there, there's Albert. Albert? That's, is that a, that's not a vampire name. Who made that dude a vampire? What is that? <laughs> you don't know Albert? Albert Didn't they change his name to Alphonse when he got bitten? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you people? Don't be disrespectful. <laughs> So Albert, Albert. Albert, he runs, he owns the Horseshoe Cafe downtown. Hmm. Which can we, can we tell him you sent us? Sure, if you want. What's he good at? Why I, am I? Why do I we know. want to talk to Albert? Breakfast is Cafe. really good there, and they serve breakfast 24 hours a day. So I would try the hash browns, double eggs, and the stuffed French toast. That's what he's good at. Well, that's what the Horseshoe his Cafe. Is. His breakfast burrito is awesome. <laughs> You're great. Hashtag, hashtag. What I'm what I'm trying to get at is what what do you hashtag think? Hashtag breakfast. Hashtag. What do you think awesome. Albert can do for us <laughs> besides feed us? You hashtag just ask for other, Well, so, <laughs> the horseshoe is downtown, and it tends to pick up a lot of the uh, the the, and it runs 24 hours. So in the middle of the night, it tends to pick up a lot of the addicts as they come in and out here and there. He might have seen something or heard something, especially if he got wind that it had something to do with vampire blood. But this is the first I've actually seen a sample of this stuff. Hmm. You guys think uh, Siggy might you? be familiar with this place? I know this place. I had breakfast there. Hmm. It's not a corporate breakfast establishment, of course. That's where my character eats. <laughs> As an aside, the Horseshoe Cafe has been around since about 1886, and it's kind of a town um, landmark in a way. And it's it's kind of looks like a seedy bar, but it has pretty good food, even though it still looks like a seedy bar, even on the inside. Okay. Where is it in location to uh, the bar that I bounce at? I think I saw Stars play there once. They're both downtown. Um, I think they're within about two or three blocks of one another. Okay, cool. I uh, snap my fingers at Scout. Hey, tell the tell the others where we're going and to meet us there. Well, we're already there because you know hash browns and burritos. 
dick. Damn it. I thought you were going to go beat up your friend. Whatever. Well, In the meantime, no, no, no. keep analyzing the substance. I, I send... Oh, shoot. I lost everyone's names when I crashed. Oh. I'm sick. I send I send I send a DM to uh to Siggy of um um yeah. meet, meet meet us at breakfast place order order two burritos hashtag coffee <laughs> and of course and of course Siggy will understand that oh yeah. <laughs> Dr. Markov, did you say you were going to continue to analyze that stuff? Yeah, I'll we'll continue uh, looking it up for you if you want. Yeah, well, we need a little bit of this pure sample back. You didn't I... dump the whole thing in, did you? Well, of course I did. I needed it all. <sighs> okay, I think we might have a connection to hashtag, get more. Hashtag yeah. vampire, hashtag conspiracy, question mark. <laughs> Mooney will hook us up. Um, well, give me a text if you learn anything new. Okay. Or do you hear of any vampires going missing or anything? Yeah, you know, they've been you know, missing for a couple of years, actually, but I just assume they moved out of the area. Yeah, I'm not sure I care enough. I, I, have, I, have, an, I have an important question that I'm going to, to become lucid for just long enough to ask. Um, what sort of <laughs> maybe not <laughs> you can do it um, would um, would Eternatech have the facilities to, to do this sort of thing oh that was serious what? I said I was going to ask a lucid question <laughs> well they are a biotech company and they do specialize in DNA and genetics, so yeah, I think they would have. Do you do you know any 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 of your folk who person? I don't know they didn't account with anybody there. <laughs> Damn it! I didn't even think about that. I go. I, I look not well. use LinkedIn. <laughs> I don't know anybody yet. It's from the um, no, I mean, do you do you know if there are any people of uh, people of of vampiric culture who are involved with the company? No, nobody that I know of, at least. If they were, they'd be keeping it a pretty big secret from the rest of us, and that would probably just piss off the queen. Are they? Well, I mean, I assume they're evil because they're a corporation, but they. Of course. So. Do you know if they're like bad people? Have you heard anything about the company that might lead you to believe they, they might do this sort of thing? All I've heard is that they put out a bunch of patents. That's about it. I understand that they're trying to find eternal life, but they haven't gotten it. Okay, I go back to Twitter now. <laughs> My job is done in this scene. <laughs> you're already kind of half fading into hashtagging while you're saying. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. Uh huh. <laughs> well, I already tweeted hashtag vampire, hashtag conspiracy. So <laughs> hashtag, hashtag I, I, I made a meme with the guy from um, Ancient Astronauts going, I'm not going to say it's a vampire conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I thank Dr. Markov. <laughs> and, I just by, the way, I, and, by the way, I do say all that aloud. And, as and I And grab, uh, grab Scout by the hair and just start walking out the door. My hat. You're going to mess up my hat. Yeah, that's fine, dear. Come along. <laughs> Your hat's lovely. All right. So, you know, it's just, like, to just the like cat. The one, it's just like the one from the second season of American Horror Story. In the meantime, oh. <laughs> the other two of you, Sig and Mooney, are, are at Rumors. Which are is we doing Rumors first, or are we doing burritos and hash browns? Cause... No, well, you're going to you're gonna beat up the innocent, and then you're going to get burritos and hash browns. Nice. You are going to go talk to Gloria. Do you still want to do that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, um... If you don't mind, uh, I'll do it my way first. 
Because your way tends to wire jaws. Shocking and stuff is just like whatever. Can can, can you Skype me into the interrogation? (laughs) Just hold up your phone. I don't have a phone. Well, no, I mean, I mean, Siggy, it'll keep her from punching people. I can punch with my phone. I got this heavy. It's really good for that. Great. I have an she's, otter box well, on it. Yeah, so that's I, what, I was like just going to say. She's it, got it doesn't otter. matter. <laughs> I've beaten people with my phone before. But yeah, I'll, I'll have I'll have uh, Scout on on Skype with a little front facing camera going. Okay. Yeah, before that, I'll I'll actually <laughs> sneak over to Glory and be like, "Hey, that stuff was awesome. Do you have any more?" I put my earbuds into the into the phone. Well, yeah, I look, she says she looks around kind of suspiciously, and then she says, "Well, yeah, but it's gonna cost you." You know me, I'm good for it. <laughs> yeah, I know you, and I know you're not good for it. I have I have a Jack White first printing from Record Store Day last year. <laughs> Nobody can hear you. <laughs> how much how much is it gonna cost? Uh it's a hundred dollars a vial. Okay, um I'm gonna have to go get the money. Uh, My Jack White forty five is worth three vials. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm typing all of this in on the thing and <laughs> um I don't understand why they didn't turn on the, the speaker. Open your... So, <laughs> shut up, Chris. <laughs> I'll be here until my shift's over at 2 in the morning. And then burritos. Okay, I'll come back. Okay. Yeah, you know, I could just punch it out of her. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that in front of her? Probably, yes. <laughs> what? Guys, guys, I have three hundred dollars. <laughs> Why would you want to punch? Where did you get three hundred dollars? I'm a highly paid, very successful hacker. Yeah. I don't have. I don't guys. have. I, I have just the proper amount of attention span to be a highly successful hacker. He gets a regular paycheck and everything, like all the successful hackers. Exactly. I'm like a trust fund baby, but with hacking. Are you guys going to do anything else with Gloria? Uh, no, no. I, this, I, I don't have anywhere near $100, ever. I have... I, I've got like $800 in my wallet. I probably well, have $100. Your wallet isn't in front of Gloria right now, so it doesn't... Well, I, I told them to Skype me in. If they would just listen... I, do, does she take credit card? Because I have, I have, I have credit card. I have an American Express Black. She does not take credit cards. Does she take fists? Does she take an ass kicking? <laughs> Backs up a little bit. And <laughs> you know, I grab her by the shoulder, nice and and tight, so she can't really run. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my little guys, sister. Guys, guys, I have been to around for a while. I, what? Where, what do you mean, little sister? I haven't oh, seen oh, you. You, you, might, you might know a little something, don't you? You, you have connections. A little something by what? Something. Let go of me. <laughs> Aut- Autumn hears me keep yelling at my phone. Guys, I have $300. <laughs> like, Your friend has $300. I can hear it through that tiny little... <laughs> Beat me! <laughs> I didn't do anything. I swear. I turned, I turned to Autumn and said, and say, uh, you turned can, Autumn? Can I, oh, yeah, okay. I turned to Autumn. I say, I'm going to turn on the siren now because we have to go before Siggy beats up the reprobate. <laughs> and I have three hundred dollars. Are you giving that to me? Are you bribing a cop? What are you doing? I'm buying drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I flip on the siren and, and speed through all the intersections. 
Oh, are you still going to the horseshoe, or are you going? To no, work? we're gonna we're gonna go stop uh, Siggy from beating someone up, so I can give them three hundred dollars for drugs. <laughs> okay, Siggy and Mooney. As soon as she hears sirens, she starts to bolt. You're gonna have. Uh, to I was holding on to her, and I'm. I lean out the window. You guys, I have three hundred dollars. <laughs> I want you to make a, a strength plus athletics roll. Okay, well that's uh, strength and athletics. That's and I lose uh, my hat. My hat blew off. Autumn, my oh. hat blew off. <laughs> We're not going back. Don't you have your helmet on your hat? <laughs> no, that would be silly. I put I put my hat into my little cute backpack when I put well, my helmet on. Well, you couldn't have lost it. No, could you? No, he's in the car. He his helmet's in his hand. His no, hat was on his, his head. Helmet in his car. That he does that all the time. It's it's a police car. That. Scout is not a he. <laughs> well, we don't You're, know that. <laughs> uh, roll, that's d10, seven of them. I get two guys, tens, a seven, and two ones. So that's Chris, shut size. up! Difficulty's not going to be a six. Six, yeah, okay. That's, I get one success. Okay, she, she, she's really struggling a lot, and um, it's actually causing a little bit of attention. Your boss is looking over, wondering what the hell is going on. No, I mean, I'll clear it up later. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, her, her boss is probably in fear of her getting... beating him up, too, so... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the police car pulls up... You have Sour Patch Kids and you're not sharing? <clears throat> I don't have them anymore. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> <the> sigh. <laughs> if Sour Patch Watermelons, too. Ooh. Watermelon's the best flavor. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Do you have a megaphone in this car? Yeah. Oh, you just had to admit that, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't say I was giving it to her. Got it. <laughs> He's beating up the reprobate. Go in there and stop it. <laughs> You're a police officer. That's your job. And this is your thing. You want to buy drugs. If you want me to go in there, I'm just going to end up arresting you all. I don't think you understand the instructions given to us by the people in charge. I, I pick up the megaphone and turn it on. Scout, get in the fucking bar! <laughs> <laughs> get out of my car. We're not done with this conversation. <laughs> so I get out of the police car, I go around to the back, I open the door, and I grab Scout by the hair again. <laughs> And I say, and, and I walk into the bar with her hair in tow. Okay, <laughs> Gloria <laughs> looks genuinely terrified right now. She may pee her pants any moment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so we come into the office. Are we in the office? No, you're in the you're in the uh, foyer of the club because she's the coat check girl. Ah. ah. Mm -hmm. I give someone fifty dollars. <laughs> I don't care who it is at this point. You just give a random person 50 bucks? It gives her the dollars to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I go up to Gloria and I say, Gloria, um, uh, 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 Moon said that uh, for 50 bucks we could get a half a vial of... Uh, give Ziggy her pills. Uh, hey, aren't you a social worker? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't sell drugs. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Oh, hold on, let me, let me, yeah, um, hold on, I'm a hacker, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I say to, to Sig, um, I, I, I give her my business card, it's got a... Do you uh, want to convince her that she's a drug dealer? I say to Sig. Hmm? And, I, and, I, and I tell, uh, and, I, and I go to uh, Scout, give me another $150. <laughs> I reach into uh, into my backpack, take out my wallet, and I start handing you crumpled bills. Okay. I and and Sig, are you probably threatening her? Oh, you know, I'm just making sure she's not going anywhere. So I Gloria, only have, I, I only think of her name. Gloria, only, are you still not a drug dealer? I wave like three hundred bucks in front of her nose. You guys, I have $300. <laughs> you have $300. No, I still have... 
<laughs> you have an endless pool of three hundred dollars. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> what does so Lori <laughs> say, my dear? <laughs> she's still looking rather terrified, and like she's not sure if she should actually do this, but she wants you all to go away. So <laughs> she says, "All right, fine." Fine, give me the money, and, and, and then she slips you three vials. <laughs> Thank well, you, dear. So she does have them. Now, why don't we find out where she got them? I asked her oh, if she knows. <laughs> I, 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 I ask her if she knows anyone at Eternatech. And oh. does, she, does she like my hat? Do you like your hat? Can I have one? I give her my hat. Oh, thank you. Oh, you made amends. <laughs> she looks so I, sad. I take the files and take them out to the police car, by the way. Thanks I'm done with these insane the people. Shore. And I and I, I, I tip her twenty dollars. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hold on, hold on. I need what's fifteen percent of three hundred dollars? What do you tip a <laughs> drug dealer? Don't you have an app oh. for that? <laughs> Whenever Brenda comes out with the uh, vials, uh I will swagger into the club. <laughs> oh no. Oh my yeah. god. You've got swag? <laughs> I'm swaggering. YOLO. I leave. Oh, wait, so what's the state of Gloria right now? Are you still, I'm hanging still holding on to her, of course. Okay. So I give her $45 as a tip. <laughs> and she stuffs the money in her pocket as quickly as she can, and she keeps looking up at Sig like she keeps expecting her to let her go. Sig. Sig. I don't let that woman go. Sig, 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 I have Pocky. I don't really care for Pocky. It's it's strawberry. So, <laughs> if if possible, and I'd like to come up and interact interrupt the scene. I have okay. I have lobster I have lobster flavored. And fish. Autumn interrupts right there. I uh, take up my handcuffs and start handcuffing Gloria. You're under arrest no, for selling drugs. No. What? <laughs> no, I swear, these people. I don't know where. I, it's not mine. <laughs> you know, I can. I turn to her and I go. I go. It's okay. We bought the drugs from her. You're starting to. Fro- a crowd is starting. <sighs> a crowd of transvestites is starting to form around you. As hey, they do. What's up? <laughs> I take. I ask if I can put their pictures on Instagram. I'm still handcuffing oh, Gloria. Funny. <laughs> Are you gonna take a selfie with them? Yes, I take a selfie with the with the. Uh, with Gloria the, uh, pleading to not be. I don't. I, I can't. No, please. I I, 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 I I tap Autumn on the shoulder. It's okay. I gave her my hat. <laughs> go 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 uh go Instagram. We'll do that. Well, she's Instagramming while she's telling you that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I wave my phone so you uploading. <laughs> well, you know, Gloria, this could all go away if you just uh, direct me to who you got that from. <laughs> the, the, uh, <laughs> she seems to be weighing whether or not it's I mean, worth it. Maybe, maybe I've got four threat. good witnesses here. Hey, Autumn, I saw this in a movie. I don't, I, don't, I don't know if the one with the hat is a good witness, though. Well, I don't have a hat anymore. You have my hat. Oh, I wasn't counting her. Um, Autumn, <laughs> I had, you know, I saw in a movie once where a police detective hit the suspect with their gun. Maybe you should do that. <laughs> Can't. Why do people job. keep talking about hitting me? So, first of all, I'd like to apologize to Stacy. But second of all, can I draw my gun and hit <laughs> and be like, like this? Sure you can. <laughs> I would like to do that. <laughs> you do really hard to like drop to the floor. <laughs> you got you got blood on on my kitten sweater. You should uh, take a picture of that and complain about it on Twitter. <laughs> Hashtag cops are awful. Oh no no Gloria no! Has now go go you. Your phone Hashtag hashtag occupied the police brutality. <laughs> Gloria is what? Gloria has now devolved into sobbing. Oh, that's okay. That's so Miss Stacy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will march her outside and throw her in the, the back of the car and then just kind of close the door and lean against it. Can I work the siren? Oh, I'm not <laughs> in, in the car, right. baby. <laughs> and I don't let her call me out. 
So is there anyone around taking uh, undue interest in what I'm doing? Me. Besides Scout? <laughs> Um, roll wits plus alertness. My wits, my wits. Let's see, two alertness and three wits. I got two successes, no ones. Okay. <clears throat> As so, you're there is a, a uh, there's a nervous uh, a younger gentleman in the uh, crowd, and actually you recognize him as Peter Jeffries. Oh, that name is familiar. Let's see here. Do I get to uh, grab him too? Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. if you want to try. <laughs> so she just like six me on him. It's okay. Yeah, go get him. All right, so I do that. He, he turns to bolt. <laughs> he actually gets a few steps away, so you're gonna have to run after him if you want to. Okay. What do I need to roll for that? What do you need to roll for that? Same thing, strength and athletics, or? No, I think that's slightly different. Let me look. I I I have a taser. It's going to be like um, dexterity in athletics. I keep it in my yeah. backpack because I'm a security consultant. It's a contested role, I believe. Um, yeah. Do I get to use werewolf powers? Do you have werewolf powers? You? Oh, I can throw my I can throw my warhammer. You have a warhammer? You have a warhammer? Yeah. Yeah, what the hell? I'm confused. What game are we playing? Of course, I have a warhammer. He has a warhammer. It reports to her. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I can throw it like Thor. And it's awesome. <laughs> so I can throw it like all I Thor should... on his ass and just like nail him with this warhammer. Probably I should. Yeah, I have... you're making me regret not looking at that character closer. <laughs> I, I have a gun. <laughs> there you go. That's not good. <laughs> To strength, climbing, jumping, on uh, long running or sprinting pursuit. That's plus just, athletic. I could have just pistol whipped Gloria all on my own. I wasn't even thinking about that. <laughs> okay. Hang on a second. There's... Okay, you're making a dex plus athletics roll. Okay. And roll. And this is what six? Actually, I take that back. Sorry, it's stamina plus athletics. Stamina. <coughs> um, Check that. I want to get into the CCTV and turn off all the cameras for about six blocks while he's doing this. <laughs> you can spend a will point of willpower. Um, to Ooh, I did really well. I got three. Make successes. your your smartphone capable of doing that if if you want to, or you can just try to hack it. I right, saw. So. You have a computer. Um, I, don't, I don't need a computer. I've got another phone I can use. Okay. So spend a point of willpower to do that, and then you're going to be making an intel intelligence plus com computers, right? Yeah. Right. So that's seven dice. Yeah. All right. What do I have to do? What, what's what's my what do I have to do as a success? It's six. It, your action or your difficulty CCTV. Uh, it's yeah, it's six. Got three successes. You don't quite catch up. Yeah. You got more than three? Yeah. Uh, One more. Can I, like, spend a fate point? <laughs> you can spend a rage point or a willpower point. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Which one you can do? There's a billion of things that you can do with those. What do you want to do? Uh, and, well, I mean, since I'm a get a Fenris, rage would just make more sense, I think. She hates when people runs from her. <laughs> I hate it when they run. Yeah, they hate it. Yeah, that that can actually be it. Since I'm a bouncer, I can say I hate it when they run and just use some rage with my short temper. 
and just like beat the shit out of him. Wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? I'm spending rage points. You what? However many I need to spend to uh, kick this guy's ass and whatever else I might want to do. <laughs> is uh, four successes enough to turn off the CCTV cameras? Yes. Okay. And I accidentally turn off a, one of the intersections, okay. traffic Actually, lights in the intersection nearby, too. Okay. Josh, what you should really do is, um, what I would suggest doing is, on your previous roll, spending a willpower point to add one success, and then you'll catch him. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay. So spend a willpower point and catch up and grab the kid. Now roll strength plus athletics to keep hold of him. Strength plus athletics. That one's, I guess, that's wrong. Uh, one, two, three, four successes. Okay, you, you grab a hold of him and you can drag him back to the. Awesome. To the car. I'll give him a nice hard squeeze too, just to uh, let him know that I do not take kindly to him running. There's yelling about police brutality and. No, oh, it's okay. I squeeze him hard enough to make him it's shut okay. up. It's okay. He's not. She's not a cop. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now what? You've captured the dude. I what turned up all the CCTV cameras within six blocks. And all the CCTV cameras. So now your only witnesses are the transvestites. I'm sure they're and, Well, I, I, I also hold up my other phone and say my all the pictures just uploaded to Instagram. Should I tag you? So they're all looking at their phones right now. <laughs> That's a great distraction. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> uh, every, that... every now and then she pulls something out of her short attention span. <laughs> <laughs> what, Sarah? Um, so I assume you, you bring the dude back towards me? No, he's in the. I just like threw him in the car. No, oh, okay. He can be there with Gloria, who I assume is still crying in fear. Yeah, yeah she is. Okay. Um, so we have two potential sources for where this is coming from, or two people who might know the sources. Um, can, I have, can, I have a turn, can I have a turn beating one of them? <laughs> he sure. Wants on Instagram. He wants to do a selfie with him, like, punching them. She. She. Uh, to be fair um, with you, it's really hard to tell. No. I, well, I lost my, my lower third when I crashed, so. Yeah. Uh, Brenda, do you want to give a try talking to Gloria before I start beating her? I, I, I want to hit her with my, uh, my snub nose 38. <laughs> <sighs> you just can't randomly commit violence against humans. <laughs> Somebody said something about burritos. Oh, yeah, burritos. Well, we can get hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back to the bar and go on your merry way back to the Horseshoe Cafe. We should beat first and then get burritos. No, you guys can do that. Me and Mooney will just go hit up the uh, hit up the burritos and hash browns. Yeah, because you're buying. Oh, no, we can just take a little bit of money from Gloria that we just gave her. I think that's okay. Sarah, are you talking and I can't hear you? No, I, I was reacting to his suggestion. <laughs> I see. Okay. Just making sure. I have great suggestion. I have three hundred dollars. So, okay, I'll take that. What's the actual plan here, guys? Burritos. I would like to uh, pull Peter out of the car, slam him up against the car, and tell him to tell me who's making the fucking red mist, or he's going downtown. We should do that not in the middle of the street. I turned off the CCTV cameras. There's some people walking by. <laughs> We're in front of a popular club okay. downtown. Even Sig, the one with like no intelligence, knows this. <laughs> I'm going to blame Scout, but yeah. That's is what con it, does this bar have a conference room? <laughs> no. Is it, is it wired for Wi-Fi? Uh, no. It's barely big enough to be a bar. <laughs> All right, well, but the city's wired for Wi-Fi. Hashtag Lissai. Definitely Wi-Fi, but... <clears throat> okay, so he says, um, I don't know what you're talking about. I taser him. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Just a little. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> it's like that scene in The Hangover. <laughs> He's, he, he he jumps around as he gets tased, and then he says, uh, he says, what? I don't know what you're talking about. I can do this all night. Or he until my batteries run out. out. <laughs> he keeps looking at Autumn like he expects her to stop this at any point in time. Uh, I don't know why, because Autumn is strangely aroused by this going on. I take a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I see. And, and I post it to the, the Tumblr that I've started about Autumn. Uh, I might just watch. Hashtag awesome. <laughs> I can't tell you. They'll kill me. Should I tase him again? Or should I uh, just hit him with the pistol this time? Hold on, because next time we, we should do a more uh, directed hit with the taser. And I'm like, I gesture at his genitals. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you have to make sure to remove the jeans, though, because otherwise you won't get good contact. Ah, <laughs> see? My friends are helpful. <laughs> so, uh... I think, I think we should have the social worker pay it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're worried about someone who's not here killing you, so if you just, you know, cooperate, they don't have to ever find out that it was you. I lean in, I go, I turned off the CCTV cameras. So we're going to do whatever we want to. So you should just cooperate. I don't know if there's like an intimidation type thing. Oh, yeah. It's, um, <laughs> that would be, that depends on how you want to intimidate him. I imagine like the way that you're intimidating him, though, is going to be... Uh, I, 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 I hold the taser up in front of him and, and click it so it sparks. <laughs> You want to learn manipulation, roll manipulation plus intimidation, which... Do I get a bonus for having a taser? You're not very intimidating. You're more of a nice person, I think. Autumn? Autumn's a nice person? How did that happen? I may have been playing her wrong. Let's see. <laughs> how, did, how did it end up that my character became the intimidating one? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> Uh, well, of course, I did just taser him and threaten to beat him with my thirty-eight. So, True. only person I've actually okay. Hit. All right, I've got now. Here's an important question. I had one success. Ooh, one actually, success. It was a ten, which doesn't explode. But all right. All right. So yeah, that is that is a success, though. He he, he does look properly intimidated. Um, I'm, I'm sure Scott's helping. Did you go see the secret show from Death Cab last month? <laughs> all, all, all my interesting pants feelings just went away. <laughs> interesting pants feelings. <laughs> While the scout is busy um, torturing, uh, I'm going to uh, grab her wallet and uh, say, "Hey, uh, we're going to go get burritos now." <laughs> cool. <laughs> <sighs> Um, okay, so... I, I give them each a crumpled up $20 bill. Sweet. <laughs> okay, so you guys head towards the cafe, I think it, leaving them alone to intimidate this poor, poor gang member. I'm just kind of clicking the, the, the thing on my taser this, and this, barking this, up and arcing. And... Uh, I don't, I don't know what his name is. Or or where he comes from, he just he just he meets me every 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 few days and just, just so, me, I, so and I a, buy the stuff from him. He doesn't like I, tell me I, where he lives or anything. I turned on him. I say, so as a police officer, your technical expertise would be the genitals next. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's it's something. I mean, you can you can start I'm with telling the truth. A sensitive area like the chest, if you prefer. I, I try. Excuse me, sir. Do you have any piercings? Specifically down there. Well, it just in general. Okay, so when's the last time you met this contact? Uh, 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 last week. And when are you supposed to meet meet him again? Uh, tomorrow. All right. Look who's spending the night with us. What? <laughs> I I think 
Unless Scout wants to I, stop me, I'll put him back in the car then. <laughs> I have, I got in trade for, there was this woman, and she wanted to check on her husband. She didn't think, she thought he was cheating on her, so I did a surveillance thing on his on his internet, and I won't use any technical terms. <laughs> However, she couldn't pay me, so she had a training cage for dogs <laughs> to, make, to, make, to make a long story short I have a training cage for dogs in my apartment <laughs> and it's soundproofed alright so we know where oh, Peter is spending the night kinky shit <laughs> <laughs> this is turning into a real world of darkness game <laughs> I'm telling you everything that I know. I swear. Oh yeah, we just we want to go with you with your meetup. Mm -hmm. I want to buy drugs. But <laughs> if he finds anything suspicious, the guy's gonna bolt. Tell him we're your old ladies. What? what? Or... <laughs> I saw it in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag LOL. <laughs> By the way, I drifted off in the middle of this and started tweeting again, so. <laughs> Do, can I just tell you where it is and meet you there tomorrow? Nah, I don't really want you, like, running around. I, I like the sound of this dog cage. We're going to do that. What? <laughs> yeah. There was this episode of Buffy. I I, uh, I push him back in the car and close the door. <laughs> yeah, <it work. laughs> I, I believe I may can have I, just kidnap someone. Yeah. Can I can I taser him again? <laughs> no, no. But uh, how's Florida uh, hanging out there? Oh, that's right. What was she hand? Down. What would you just have her handcuffed to the side of the car or something? Right, she was in the car. Oh, yeah, the they're car. both in the back seat. She's still sobbing. <laughs> So do we want to like go get burritos and plan this and then come back? I, and I think I think I think we deserve burritos at this point. <laughs> we can car park there and then make them. In the I, I tap. I tap. I'll lock it. I'll crack I, the I, window. I, I, I tap on the window and say, "You guys, you want burritos? They make really good burritos." We're not feeding them. That's bullshit. Oh. They're they're like you know suspects. Oh, we don't feed suspects. I'm not. No. I am a security consultant. <laughs> I, I don't do the law and order stuff, other than watch SVU. Fine, if if you want to buy them food, we can. You can buy them food. Sweet. I think it's lame, but whatever. Taste the ones and eat them. Is, is anyone lactose intolerant? <laughs> I, I'm gonna follow everyone else into the the cafe. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Be here munching down on burrito <laughs> in Ash Browns. Yeah, yeah, so making me so hungry. When Moon and and um, Sig got into the place, it's 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 paneled in, in, in dark wood paneling. The 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 uh, all of the tables are for Mica. There's not a window in the joint that's actually not got some like covered up in some posters or some sort. Uh, I the take a selfie. Is, place is incredibly unique, and um, the person there's only one person that seems to be working. Uh, is a uh, a dude that looks like he's in his mid twenties or so, looks like a hipster dropout kind of guy, and he, 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 as you guys have been watching, you've noticed. No, actually, let me ask if you've noticed that. Um, both uh, both Sig and Moon, because this is before the rest of them have arrived. Give me a um, wits plus alertness roll. Can I roll to see if he's a poser? At difficulty six, when you're there, maybe. <laughs> That's plus a word. A total of one. Well, while we're walking to the place, I ask Autumn if we can take a selfie together. No. Well, I get it's it too. It's for my Tumblr. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> she, she looks at you with really big, sad eyes. Don't care. I'm explaining to Sig as we're going in how the taco is the perfect food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In copious detail. <laughs> you know what? The important part is keeping the hot hot and the cold cold. So did you both get successes? Yeah, I got, I got one. Okay. 
So um, the, when the dude comes over to, to, to take your order, actually you give your orders at the counter and then you go to sit down, but as you're giving your orders to the dude, he looks um, he looks a little he looks nervous and a little like sweaty around the edges. Ew, that's kind of gross. <laughs> Only around the edges. He's not sweating anywhere else. No, just around the edges. Oh. Like you know, up here and kind of down here, and looks a little uh, stressed out. But he takes your orders. Hashtag vacation time. <laughs> Nobody asked you. I'm more concerned <laughs> about the burritos, so I don't really care. Mooney okay. might care. I don't care. Does Mooney care? Well, yeah, uh, kind of. I'll keep an eye out. Okay. But I'm, I'm still in explanation mode about how tacos are the perfect food, especially when it's free. Mm, yeah. <laughs> she takes your orders. And the place is pretty much empty, so you have your choice of booths or bar stools to sit on. Oh, that's a hard choice. And then bar stools. Three. Oh, no, there's a group of us. We want a booth. But you can't like, really spin around on them. That's true. The cat agrees. But I can't. I I, I I can't look longingly towards Autumn if we're on bar stools. <laughs> What, what, happened to, what, what happened to what happened what happened to Ethel in all of this, by the way? Uh, did she, did, she, did she give up in disgust? <laughs> oh no, where'd she go? All this it took three years of to break her finally. Of course I didn't give up in disgust. Why would I do a thing like that? <laughs> all the social injustice that we were bringing, she just couldn't handle it. <laughs> You guys are bringing a social injustice. That's awesome. So the rest, everybody else arrives, and I assume you go through the ritual of ordering your food. You notice too that dude looks kind of nervous, but he doesn't seem to. I ask him if he's okay. I, okay, he thinks about that for a moment. Seems to take a long few moments for him to actually think about that, and he says, "Sure, I'm fine." What the hell, man? Is he eating the burritos as he's making them? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> well, he, he's snacking. <laughs> what? 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 So, so, did did you want burritos too? Yeah, yeah. No, I'll take uh, two eggs over easy, hash browns, and sliced tomatoes, please. Right. Okay. East Coast style breakfast. Uh, anybody else? I would. Uh, sorry, I'll take the stuffed French toast. Okay. Oh God, I'm so hungry. I saw this on a, on a food blog, <laughs> so I, I want I want scrapple and a uh, poached egg. Oh, we don't have scrapple here. I don't even know what that is. It's gross. Hashtag <laughs> delicious. <laughs> I, sure I, I saw it on a food blog though. Well, that's fine, but we don't sell it here, so we got some <laughs> fresh toast. I'll Can give you an extra it? side of bacon. Okay. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it from a local farm? Oh God. Let's say yes. <laughs> <laughs> what I like about this person. What about nitrates? I am nowhere to be found. <laughs> Unless you want them, and then I can add them. I'm going to activate my earring. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not I, I won't waste my, my uh, effort. Okay. So we go back, and I, I, I tell them that I got to taser the, the guy. Oh, lucky you. <laughs> Just as a and reminder, then, you guys came here to talk to the owner. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to do that. Are you just reminding you? Oh, who did you taser? I thought you tasered the owner. Who did you actually taser? <laughs> not oh, just some I'm random gonna... guy in the restaurant? I'm not going to taser. Just so, just so our, has... our, our woman in uniform here could get her rocks off? For Christ's sake, what's wrong with people? <laughs> no. I have some beliefs. He was, he, was, he was a suspect. Of and he what? Wouldn't talk. What did you suspect him of? Well, he ran from Siggy. Okay. Well, who the hell wouldn't? 
But he knew things. She just I went, lean, I fine, lean in, fine. I lean in and I whisper, hashtag vampire. Hashtag conspiracy. <laughs> yeah, I think when you do that, the, the guy behind the counter who's making the food looks around a little suspiciously. And then I take a picture. <laughs> but I, I kind of, I take the phone and I kind of hold it over my shoulder so I'm not looking at him. Okay. <laughs> and you kind of like lean out the the booth really awkwardly to do it, trying not to look suspicious. And then I put I put a Instagram filter on it so he looks more tan. <laughs> a vignette, <laughs> because some of the background stuff was distracting. Yeah. Yeah. He had a nice little the little black around the edges to it. Yeah. That's it. That's a vignette. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That thing. Yeah. So the guy who's making our. Um, our food, does he appear to be the owner of the place? No, he does not. So he's just sweaty and nervous and touching my food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah can yeah. I talk to the manager? What? Um, I, I'm the only one working right now. I, I text Autumn. Can I taser him? <laughs> I text back. Later, honey. <laughs> Hashtag Lasai. <laughs> So you're the only one here right now. Yeah. Are you a vampire? I'm not oh. even here today. Why, then why are you working? Just ignore my my heathen, weird, organic friend over here. Uh. <laughs> well, because because <laughs> the 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 I can't tell you that. If he's a vampire, can I take his picture on my phone? Oh yeah. Because there's no, there's no, there's no silver in the phone, so okay, I'm so assuming I can take. up on the phone. Okay. I add fangs to his photo and show it <laughs> to Autumn. You guys, I think he's a vampire. <laughs> oh, I, I go up to him and I say, hey, you know what? Can I get some garlic on those um, tomatoes? <laughs> what does he say? We all look. We all try to look. Everybody gets quiet. <laughs> yeah, he narrows his eyes and he looks at you and he's like, I'm not a vampire. <laughs> Can I still get garlic on my tomatoes? <laughs> <laughs> Your lady, whatever you want. Thanks. <laughs> But, but why, 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 who, why would, you, why would you think that? Why would you say that? Who are you? What are you? You guys, I think he's lying. You won't tell us anything. Stuff? Great. Can I what? Can him now? Yeah. Maybe. You know, you won't tell us anything. Uh, why are you working instead of, uh, you know, whoever should be working today? Well, well, usually the owner takes it. He's, he's, he's what? He's, he's being a here. vampire? He's being assaulted what? by a truck. He's not here. Is he locked up in the back of a police car? <laughs> not that I know of. I certainly hope not. That would be bad news for him. I, 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 I scroll through the gallery on my camera on my phone and I look for the picture I took of the guy as I'm tasing him. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I show that I go. Is this the owner of the restaurant? Uh, no. This is okay. the guy you're tasering. Don't we know who he is? is didn't yeah, Sarah recognize him? And we already know who that is. Yeah, he's uh, Peter. He's Peter, Peter, the Peter. gang leader. I go. Do you know? Who, I go. Okay. So if he's not the, I, I'm still. Please focus on this. If he's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, focus. Great idea, Chris. <laughs> if he's not the owner, do you know who he is? <laughs> Have you ever bought drugs from him? <laughs> what? what? There's, a reason, there's a reason why, why are you asking spends me a lot of time alone with computers. Why are you asking me all these questions? Because she's a cop. No, God, don't, a vampire don't cop? That fast. No. no. Don't be, be silly. That would be silly. Why would she be a vampire cop? Because I don't, oh, you're the one who keeps talking about vampires. It's because... 
I lean in a little closer. I go, hashtag vampire. Hashtag conspiracy, right? Am I right? Oh, you're just crazy. Okay, well, I thought you could help me, but I guess not. He turns around and goes back to the kitchen. How about, I'm, um, now, she wait. might be crazy, but <laughs> I can probably help you. Yeah. And no. I can definitely help you. Sig, between bites of burrito, says, why don't you just, you know, show him one of the vials. Just flash it. Don't mention anything. Just flash it. See if he reacts. Who has the vials now? Uh, it's one of you guys that has the, the vials. Oh, they're in my back. I'll give you one. No, they're not. I have the vials, you idiots. <laughs> I paid for them. You shake all of them. They take each one of them by the shoulders and shake them as hard as you can for just about ten seconds. Um, so, I just went to my as he turns friend. around to go you know, back to the kitchen, I sort of walk around the edge of the counter and... and Show him one of the vials, you know, just like this. No, no, put it back in my pocket and walk back to the booth. Does he do anything? He looks very confused. He doesn't get it. I think okay. the GM has given up on us. I wouldn't blame her. Um. <laughs> well, you could just ask what his problem is, and you know. Yeah. That's nice. Can I can I taser him now? Oh wait, we haven't gotten our food yet. Then I can yeah, take his order. Yeah, at least wait until we get our order. Okay. Uh, so when he, when, he, when he puts the, ta- the the plates on the table, I taser him? <laughs> no, because we might want to refill. Uh, I can pour coffee. I've been a barista. Shut up, Chris. Do you have anything that would help you, like, convince him to, say, tell us where his boss is or anything like that? Well, you could try asking him... <laughs> Oh, come on, Stacy! Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> like, really? You could ask he said he what couldn't he tell, tell us. You could, if you want to, if you want to manipulate him in some way or persuade him to do something that he doesn't want to do, you first have to ask, still ask him and find out that he doesn't want to tell you. Okay. Um, okay. Could I, or do you want to do it? I'll do it. I was, I was asking Ethel. <laughs> yeah, I'll go up to him and I'll say. So you said you 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 didn't think that the crazies over there could help you, but you know, <laughs> I make a a business out of helping people, and and I I was concerned by the tone of your voice. So maybe we can help you if you if you just let us know what's wrong. Oh, I don't think you can help me. No, how will you know if you don't ask? And I am going to try and persuade him. Uh. Well, uh, uh, okay, so you're going to want to roll, um, you're going to try to persuade him, are you? Does she get a bonus if I taser him? No. I'll sneak up. Can I just, like, throw my Warhammer right in front of his face and, like, have it return right back to me? Cause so you're going to roll Charisma plus Subterfuge at a difficulty of 7? To, to heighten your persuasion. What? Where's my charisma? Uh, I have subterfuge. Okay. Charisma and... I'm sorry, what else? Subterfuge. 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 Oh. Okay, so I'm going to want to roll four, five, six, seven dice. I should be able to do this. Five, six, seven. Let's see what happens. And a one cancels out a success? Yeah. Okay, so... um, Holy shit, I rolled a ton of... Let's see. 10, 16, 21, 30... You don't add them up, you just add the successes. Yeah, I don't... Okay. Oh, anything that... But wait... No, okay. you're not adding your... You what, what is a success, then? Seven. Anything six and above is a success. Six and above. Sorry, seven and above is a success. Seven. Yeah. So I have... No, I'm minus one success. Oh, no, wait. That's a six. Yeah, minus one. I rolled four below seven and three at six. No, no, it, it's only a minus if it's a one. And the yeah. others you just don't bother with. Okay, then I rolled two successes. Holy shit, thank you. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. 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 Steal Scout's bacon. Awesome. I don't think this is locally sourced bacon, guys. He says, uh... He kind of looks around and he says, uh... The owner's... The owner's a vampire. And, and... He keeps me alive a lot. And, um... A lot. He's been missing for a couple of days and I'm really worried about it. He keeps you alive? Yeah, we're gonna get some of his blood soon. That will be good. Well, we could help you find him. We'd like to talk to him too. So I don't, why, don't we, why, why don't we try giving him one of the vials? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Technically, it is vampire blood, but right. But it's not. But if it's the same vampire and he reacts, then we know. That's true. That's where the blood is coming from. Yeah. Lucid so, moment number three. Where where does your vampire boss live? What coffin does he stay at? Uh, not far from here, a few blocks away. Have you been to his house since guys, looking for him? Give him a vial. All right, we've yeah, not been there. He hasn't been there during the day. He hasn't been there during the night. He's completely disappeared. And why am I telling all of you people that? <laughs> I have three hundred dollars. Because you're desperate. And You'd rather live than die. That is true. Give him a give him a vial. Give him a vial. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and do it. I mean, this is Marvel superheroes. We don't have to care if you know they live. So we don't have uh, karma points. I I say to this kid who I don't know from Adam. So I just happen to have some vampire blood on me. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um. Where did you get that? Well, I take a picture of them. But um, you might want to see if this helps. Might 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 do you a solid there. She looks at it. So am I supposed to like break it open and drink it, or? You're the one that drinks vampire blood. We're not I, the experts on this. However, you normally this get it. It looks like vampire blood. This looks like Kool Aid. I look at the burnout. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mooney. <laughs> I didn't do anything. <laughs> Why don't you I, buy, I buy Mooney an extra side of bacon. <laughs> I'm already eating Brenda's food. That she wants there. Scout. You can never have too much bacon. <laughs> it's not locally sourced. I don't want this bacon. I've already eaten all your bacon. <laughs> uh, could you show our, our new friend how to use those drugs? I don't know, guys. <laughs> well, I'm talking about stereotyping. <laughs> Racist. <laughs> hey, I'm only racist against werecats. Just as a hint, it's Wait, in Mooney is in an inje injection bottle. Oh, okay. Oh. Right, but he doesn't have to inject it. He can just drink it, right? He could. Just pop the top off and drink it. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Well, it's. Do it's I have to drink sealed. this for him? You're supposed to put a syringe. It's. How do I? Do it's I just, sealed. I. Um. I. 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 I've got it. I know what to do. I take <laughs> the straw dispenser off of the table and I walk over and I lift the top up and offer him a straw. <laughs> you know, Scout, that has a needle on it. You could stick him with it. I think you should uh, stick him with it. Okay. That'll be more entertaining. Where, where do you where do you want it? <laughs> you tell him to bend over. <laughs> he he holds out his arm. Okay, so it, I jab him in the arm with the uh, thing, and then I taser him. <laughs> no, I don't. He says, "Ow!" <laughs> when you jab it into his arm. And then he kind of, he stumbles back a couple of steps and he kind of leans against the counter and he says, oh, that was pretty good. Is that is that your boss's blood? Uh, is, it, is it your boss's blood? I don't think so. Mm. Whatever this is, it feels really groovy. You guys should try it. 
We should give him another vial. Uh, I don't. I don't think so. We need to keep some for. This stuff costs three hundred dollars. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. I have three hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I take, I take a crumpled twenty and it kind of smooth it out on the bar and push it across the bar to the guy. What? <laughs> it is <his> tip. <laughs> he takes it. Thanks. <laughs> okay. All right. So we know there's a meeting tomorrow night. We know that this vampire has been missing for a short amount of time, and we don't know where he is. And apparently, this blood is not his blood. Right. We uh, sci- because we scientifically tested it. Yeah. Like having an ME. Yeah, totally. Uh, so what what do we want to do now? I don't know. I've gone back to twittering. Um, well, <laughs> I'm, he's not I'm, home. We could crash at his place until tomorrow. I'm subtweeting about vampires. The the rest of us have homes. Yeah, yeah, we want don't to go need... back to talk to that vampire <laughs> chick that you guys know at the morgue. See if she knows about this other vampire dude that owns the breakfast burrito place. She's the one that told us this. about it. Oh, she, yeah. yeah, yeah. If well, you've been paying attention. So she apparently didn't know. Well, Sig Even my character wasn't there. there. Sig wasn't there. Oh, that's right. You were you were going to go beat up Lauren. Yeah. Okay. I explained to them about the dog cage in my apartment. <laughs> and that my apartment is soundproofed. For reasons? I'm staying at your place. For reasons. <laughs> It's actually it is actually soundproof to negative nine decimals. Wow. So what are you doing? I'm going to ask the guy where his boss's house is. So um, I I'll go crash there for the night. Right, that's cool. Thank you. This is the address. It's on F Street. Would you Would you like my taser? Well, let's no. go to the the place and toss it and see if we can find any useful information. There. Oh, two people in the back of your car, though. That's I've got my Vespa. FYI. I can take someone on my Vespa. No, and obviously not me, so... You can take me with you. What are, what are we doing... What happened to uh, uh, Philip? Is, did, where did we drop him off? No, he's still in the car. He's still in the car. Yeah. yeah. Him and Gloria. They're going to go to the dog cage. Yeah, his name is Peter. <laughs> Oh, Philip, Peter, Alphonse, Albert, who knows? <laughs> yeah. um, I only have one dog cage. What are we going to do with Gloria? We'll chain her to the outside of it. Can we handcuff her? Yeah, she's already handcuffed. I have handcuffs at home. <laughs> so, let's go to the vampire house first. <laughs> All right, you head to the Vampire House, and it's a two-story house on F Street that... Um, You'll have to break into to get into. Not a problem. I use my warhammer. I throw it through a window and it returns right back. <laughs> well, there you go. That's awesome. On the car ride over, I explained to Autumn about my Christian and Anastasia fan fiction. I just completely ignore her. Um, so um, anyway, <laughs> when when I get there. Since they have to walk all the way back to the car to get to the car to get to the place, I'm just going to run there uh-huh. <laughs> uh, so that they don't actually smash up the joint because uh-huh. you don't shit where you eat. <laughs> well, sometimes. All right, you want to break in? Like, the, the I'm just going to open seal. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. I turned off the CCTV cameras. <laughs> They'll never know. So I'm going to say so, the gauntlet rating here is around a uh, six. Six, okay. So once he's inside and once we arrive, I throw my Warhammer through the window. <laughs> <laughs> Even though somebody's already inside. Uh, I'm going to spend one willpower to get a success, so I got a success. Okay. I asked Siggy. I asked Siggy what filter the I should put on their photo to to make the Warhammer look better in the on Instagram. You open the door, and um, the place feels immediately empty as soon as you come in. 
So you do catch the scent of a mortal somewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's cold and it's dark. I it's I'll, I'll call call out and I'll be like, Hey, um uh the guy here said that I could crash here tonight. The dude who owns this place. Go to the fridge. <laughs> you can go to the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> I bought you extra bacon, for Christ's sake. I take an, an uh, LCD flashlight out of my backpack. Okay. You could turn on the lights, too. If that's There are no, lights. That would be obvious. <sighs> I turn on the lights. Well, <laughs> Looney's already in looking in the fridge. Yeah. And, and there it are would... lots of um, 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 bags guys, of blood in there. You guys, we are werewolves. We don't really need lights on, do don't we? There's bags of what? what? Blood. Blood. Is is there any actual food? <laughs> and there's like three hard boiled eggs and there's a, a half a loaf of bread that looks like it's growing mold. Are the eggs from a local farm? <laughs> no idea. They're from a local refrigerator. Um, I'm gonna take those and start making moldy bread egg sandwiches. Okay. <laughs> um, I, you can I cut like, the mold off. I would like to search the house. <laughs> I am going to look in the basement. Because right. that's, that's where they hide vampires. In the basement, you find his empty sleeping area. I told you. Mm. Mm. Well, Sorry. then where is he? Grave I, yeah, it's very cliche. I knock it over and look for a secret tunnel. Yeah, no secret tunnels. It's not an Osferatu, I don't think. Is, is there any signs of struggle? Not in the basement. Not in now the there room are. and not in the kitchen. There is an upstairs and there is that persistent smell of a mortal. Okay, I will go upstairs. coming from one of the guest bedrooms. I will follow my nose. Right. In the guest yeah. room, you find a, a room that's devoid of any furniture, devoid of any... All of the carpeting has been pulled up. And curled up in a corner is a very skinny-looking um, woman who is half-naked and kind of has that thousand-yard stare thing going on. See, this is why I can't quite get, you know, with the vampires. <laughs> Are there any cable ties in this room? shit. No. <laughs> Okay, obviously he hasn't read Fifty Shades, so he's doing it wrong. <laughs> Is there any duct tape in the room? There's nothing in the room, except refuse. Is the, then, the woman's not restrained? No, she isn't. And the door wasn't even locked. Which half of her is naked? <laughs> uh, the top half. See, why didn't she just leave? She could have left if she was topless. No one would have noticed that around here. Yeah, the truth. She seems to be kind of catatonic and not really responsive. If I taser her, will she wake up? I don't know. Um, you can try. Can, we, can I smell the blood in the packets in the fridge and smell her and see if there's, you know, a connection? Um, um yeah, you can roll, uh, roll something oh. sensey like let's see. I just like taste it and taste her and see if you know compare. <laughs> just, just all you have to just do. Is, like, I just need to bite you for a second. <laughs> just, just lick her. That's all you have to do. Um. I have like a, a little uh, water thing that I can you know rinse my mouth out with. Give me a a primal urge plus perception roll. That sounds right. Uh, it's perception. Perception's okay. Primal urge. Oh, At a difficulty of seven. One, two, three, two successes. Okay, so um, yes, you you look a couple of them or smell a couple of them, and one of them does, but the other one doesn't. Mm -hmm. So there's a mixture of blood in there. Does it happen to smell like the guy in the diner? Some of it does, yes. Oh, okay. So, 
collection. So, so they were taking his blood as well as giving it to him. Do vampires do this? Autumn, <laughs> Autumn, Autumn, you're a police officer. Yeah. Do vampires take blood and then give it? Wait, I'm a police officer. I'm not a vampire officer. <laughs> well, yes, I have no idea if I one... that or not. I didn't say you were a vampire police officer. Because, you know, you're not, obviously. Because you wouldn't be in our pack if you were a vampire. <laughs> Unless you're a really clever vampire. Or you can... You're going to break your head. Too late. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how that, that works exactly. Uh... What? If they can give and take blood. I don't know. Well, I was in a blood drive one time, and it said right on there, vampires weren't allowed to give blood. Oh, there you go. Oh, something's goofy. I don't know. Does, it, does anyone have any any knowledge or any points in, in a cult? Uh, no, nobody has any points in a cult. Nope. Uh, no. <laughs> the last group that I had, everybody had a cult, and they rolled it for everything. <laughs> what, what if I just make an intelligence roll and try to focus long enough to figure out if there's a vampire, if, if sure. this is like normal? Okay. You can do that. Why don't you Google it? You, you can also try Google to look it. on the dark parts of the internet. You can send one of your spirits out looking for uh, I can. Vampires. I should do that. Okay. So, oh, I'll do that. They'll get to see me use my spider. <laughs> All right, so, so, so that's going to be an intelligence plus computer roll. Okay. <laughs> so I, I reach into uh, into my backpack, uh -huh. and I take out this really big spider that's probably bigger than the backpack. And it's glowing, and it's got, like, little weird letters on it. <laughs> and band-named, you know, stickers all over it? No. 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 That would be silly. That would be silly. This is this is this is Danielle, named after one of the sisters from Haim. Whoa! So I, I I I whisper into the the what I presume would be a spider's ear, <laughs> being that I'm a computer scientist and not a biologist, and then I kind of you know toss it up in the air. And then what happens to it? It does spider stuff. <laughs> it goes but into the internet. It disappears. Yeah. In a flash of light. Now roll uh, your intelligence plus computers. Computers. That's wow, seven dice. Okay. At a difficulty of um, eight. Ooh, that's difficult. Probably spend willpower too if you need to. Two. Yeah, you can spend willpower too. Three. Um. Yeah. Well, I've got three successes. Okay. You said. Wait. Did you say seven? Eight. Eight. Okay. Eight. Yeah. I've got three successes. Is that enough, or should I spend a willpower? Yeah. That's enough. Okay. So you hear this weird kind of you 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 hear this weird kind of skittering sound, and I I I'm standing there like this. And then the spider drops out of nowhere into my hands, and I pet it and put it back in my pocket. Danielle delivers information to your phone from the from the, the deeper parts of the net um, involving vampires and nocturnal uh, activities. The vampire feeds blood to a mortal enough times the mortal becomes a ghoul. And the ghoul has additional abilities. Um, they're more, they're straight, they're stronger, they're faster. They have, some of, they have some of the vampire's healing abilities. However, they're not a vampire, and they can walk around during the daytime, and they don't have to drink blood other than the blood of the of their master. Once they've done it three times, they become enthralled to the vampire and are forever basically belong to the vampire, unless it's broken and. There's no information about how that's broken. You um, guys, guess what? <laughs> what? What? He's a ghoul. Oh. And I put my phone away. He's a ghoul. <laughs> well, the guy from the breakfast place. Yeah. Was, the sweaty, the sweaty, sweaty, uh, sweaty breakfast cook guy. <laughs> He's a ghoul. Mm-hmm. 
I don't, I, I don't Autumn, I, Autumn, bullshit. Autumn, I think, Autumn, I think you should arrest him. <laughs> For being a ghoul? I don't think that's, like, an offense. Public ghoulishness. Well, of course according, it's an to, offense. according to Google, they, 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 it, they're a health risk. Okay, well then... They can, they can spread hepatitis B. I'm not sure I believe you. <laughs> I can tell her that, you know, his blood is here too, so he has a connection to, you know, Stockholm Syndrome chick over here, so... Well, then she should go with us. Yeah. You can, you know, pick her up and we can... Where are you going to stick all these people? Someone's going to have to ride out the roof. I'm okay with that. <laughs> <coughs> um, I, stick have, Peter up on the roof. I have rope in my backpack, and I know how to tie knots. Or you can stick Scout on the roof. Can I turn on the lights? <laughs> if you're on the roof, yes. yeah. <laughs> I think they operate from inside. Me. <laughs> <laughs> this wild guess, but I'm kind of thinking that's how that works. <sighs> While there are uh, I, I, I bet, logistics, I bet I can reprogram the lights so I can work it from outside. Wait. What would you say, Miles? While they're arguing driving logistics, I'm going to look for a room that actually has a bed. Okay. There's one upstairs. There's a few upstairs, actually. Sweet. Just whichever one looks the biggest and the most comfortable. That would be the master bedroom. Okay. That's, that be that's where I'm going to crash, and I'll start unloading my pockets of bacon and cookies and breakfast taco and just make a little food nest in the center of the bed and curl up around it. <laughs> All right. I, I, I look kind of horrified for a moment, and then I take a picture. Would you follow her up there? Yes, because I wanted to know why she was going upstairs. <laughs> All right. So you guys gonna sit, so you're going to hunker down here for the night, do something with all of the people that you're... We need to go get the, uh, the high-ass burrito maker, dude. We just stick them all in the back seat. What difference does it make if they, you know, start eating each other? Well, since I have a car, I'll go pick I, up the burrito I... dude and bring him back. We just hose out the back. Okay. These bears are built that way. Wait, why are you getting the burrito dude? Because he's linked to all this, too. So we just want to get every one that's linked to it back <laughs> in one little you guys, dog he's cage. Cool. Yeah, because he's cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. And okay, he'll well, probably know who the chick is too, possibly, so we can. He, he says that he, he would have to he would have to close the place in order to come with you. And I he, think what we should do uh, is have he's Mooney he's, he's, he's running the the restaurant. Oh. Because yeah. then, because then she can have all the food to make a nest out of. That's a compelling argument, isn't it, Mooney? No, I got my bed. I got my food. I'm good. Oh. Well, we can just grab him and close up shop anyway. He's high. He's not going to do anything. <laughs> oh, well, he is high, which means that when you go to try and grab him, he does manage to actually um, tear off the bar from the bar and uh, wield it at you angrily. Hit him with your hit him with your hit him with your war hammer. Yeah. I'm gonna, I was like, kind of surprised at what he's managed to do as well. Yeah, he's trashed you know, the place where we were gone, probably. Actually, do I want to go Krenos? Krenos looks fun. That's plus four strength. So you can spend one point of race to do that automatically, or you can roll your... Um... Yeah, I'm just going to spend a point of rage since we're... I mean, I have all this rage, and we're not going to do this game anymore, so... I don't know. <laughs> okay. I'm like, go Krenos. Like, go full... No Hulk on him and hit him with a war hammer, iron hammer, and everything. So that's like strength plus two damage on that. That's pretty sweet. Okay. Uh, actually, wait. No, okay. So roll for weapons is actually dex, not strength, right? What, it, what you're using a throwing weapon is it's dex plus athletic. No, I can, it's you're well, gonna it's, actually yeah. wield it. It's dex plus melee. Okay. Well, it says dex plus okay, so it's dex plus melee. So yeah, then and it's dex. It's, if you if you throw it, it's dex plus athletics. If okay, so I'm gonna go lupus then, since that has a higher dex bonus. So I'm gonna go like full werewolf. How, I are, can. You get, how are you? Can I go full werewolf? If you go lupus, you'll be in the form of a wolf. Oh. Okay. No opposable thumbs. So Krenos is like 
the it's the werewolf form, It's the in between. Right? Yeah, it's like okay. your buddy. Except yeah, okay, so I'll go Krenos when I have to. So I'll go all badass. Dexterity bonus. That's just four. Is anybody? Did, did you go by yourself? Pick this I mean, guy someone up? else could come with me if they wanted to. Anyone want to come with me? I'll go. Just stay yeah, at the house. Yeah, okay, I'll go. Uh, I mean, it's three, so seven. I, I stop on the way to take an Instagram of my feed. Okay, so, so when you come into the restaurant, um, your friend is 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 currently in the in the ha in the process of shifting to a, a Krenos. And the dude is wielding the bar from the bar, which he has torn off rather viciously, and is kind of confused about. But he's still wielding it at mm. can I just, general direction. Can I just shoot him? No, you could if you wanted to. Sure you could. Okay. He's a ghoul, so it's not going to kill him right now. Well, I don't care. So, dex and plus firearms? Okay. Yep, it's dex plus firearms. What, what do I... Uh, what uh, what do I need to? What's the target number? What's the difficulty? Difficulty is where did that feature go? Okay, so the difficulty Six. on the weapons, the weapon. I'm sorry. Six. Right. Oh, okay. I just I think I just shot uh, Josh's character. <laughs> did you get a negative? No, I got uh, yeah, two threes just, and a two. That's just zero. So oh yeah. So yeah. yeah. Your shot goes wild. The uh, difficulty next to the weapon stats, is that, like, what the success... Are the others be? close Yeah, that's enough what you're to... rolling against. Okay. Are, are the... Was the house close enough to the diner that they could hear me shoot? Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, good job. Shots fired. And actually, it's downtown, so um, Autumn's radio is going insane. Shots fired downtown. Oh, I get on the radio. Uh, don't don't worry about that, guys. It was uh, swamp gas was me. in a weather balloon. <laughs> what? <laughs> it, it was me. My gun went off accidentally. It's it's not a thing. Well, you're going to still have to do paperwork for that. Oh, fucking scout! Fucking paperwork scout! Damn it! <laughs> okay, um, back to the... I'll do. Stuff. Okay, <laughs> what's the T listed on the weapon stat information? The T column. That's type. Uh, your, your, your hammer does aggravated damage. Okay. And so five and up is a success, right? Yes. Can I spend rage or willpower to uh, boost this? You can spend willpower to give you another success. Okay, so I'll spend a point of willpower with it, and that'll total will bring me up to <coughs> two successes. Okay, what's the damage on that? Oh, damage is um, strength plus strength one. plus two. Strength plus two. So do I roll strength, or do I just... Okay. My strength is four, so it should Wait. be six. If, if I spend a point of willpower, can I use my phone to shut down the police communication system? Um, if you were at the headquarters and right at the police communications. Could I, well, could I spend? Well, a, yeah. Could I spend a point of willpower and use Autumn's radio to do that? Autumn, Autumn's radio is at the house where Autumn is. Yeah, but but I'm assuming she's going to bring it with her. Is she yeah. coming? No, we're not in in transit. So you're. I mean, I mean, okay, okay, well then I can just keep firing, no problem. <laughs> There's literally no one here to stop you from shooting, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've got a full clip, no problem. Actually, it's not a clip, because the 38 Special is a revolver, so. I forgot what I was looking up. I don't know. I'm attacking, so you have to oh. defend so or counter or something. To soak damage, roll your character stamina against a difficulty determined by the damage. 
Aggravated damage cannot be soaked, right? Tommen and Lupus Guru, blah, 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 blah. I got the boss damage. Okay, well, you kill him. Sweet. I tweet, guns are loud, hashtag vampire, hashtag ghoul. Hashtag. Hashtag, hash, hashtag no more. Hashtag no more burritos. <laughs> you guys weren't supposed to go be going killing people. <laughs> oh come on, he turned on us. So, All right, so you got a dead dude, and can I can I shoot him again? <laughs> yeah, sure. At this point, <laughs> his head has kind of been exploded by a, a very large hammer. So I, I, sh I shoot it. The good news sh is, Scout, that you never actually got a shot into him, so they'll never trace the, trace the murder back to you. Okay, 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 stop for a second. We have eight minutes left before technically this is supposed to end. Does anybody have to be anywhere in the next... Eight um, let me think of a place. <laughs> um, my character's going to be off from the back. Can I be tying this up as quickly as possible, or are you guys good to go for a little bit longer? No, well, I'm, I'm good. good. I'm good. Yeah. Sarah? Are you good, Sarah? I assume she is, unless she says otherwise. <laughs> I didn't hear her say anything. Is she still stunned? Audio problems. Uh, uh, oh, so now there really isn't anyone to stop you. Oh, boy. <laughs> can you so hear her? I don't know if she can hear us either. I can hear you. She's not you, reacting. Aha! There you oh, are! There you are! Awesome! All right, what's going on? Hashtag um, awesome. I just killed a dude. I was just well, I, I heard that. that it's, okay. You've got, you've got five minutes until we're supposed to technically stop, and I want to know if anybody has to be anywhere anytime soon or if we should just keep going. Uh, I'm good to continue. I will have to stop when the uh, food delivery finally gets here. Wow, you're still waiting for food? <laughs> yeah. And um, But I, I can I can totally go because... Okay. okay. Yeah. All right, so I, I, text, I, text, I text Autumn... Good news, my shot missed. <laughs> Bad news. <laughs> Should show him with like a picture of his like exploded head everywhere. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I missed. Bad, <laughs> Bad news. <laughs> hashtag hammer. <laughs> this is a text. I wouldn't use a hashtag in the chat. I know. I... You use it in voice. Why would you not use it in text? <laughs> I you say know. hashtag hammer. I <laughs> I will text no. back, burn that shit down, and don't get caught. Sweet. Does she want us to, like, take the body with us, or do we have to burn the place with it? Should I keep texting these things back and forth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I, I can just, you know, make all of the text go away. No problem. Okay. Should we, should we leave the ghoul? And this time I text, I do hashtag hammer time. <laughs> no, bring the dead body with you. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. So I tell I tell uh, Siggy that that Autumn wants her to carry the dead body. Okay. Sure. We <laughs> um, walk several blocks with the dead body. Well, I get a I get a I nice have the trash CCTV, bag. I have the CCTV cameras turned off. And I have Did a car. Did you guys walk there? No, I have the car. Yeah. I drove. Oh, you have my own car. Oh, you have your own car. Uh -huh. Yeah. Well, okay. so how many how many cars how many cars, did, how many cars are we driving around currently? It's two. Oh, okay. Um, the Vespa. I'm sure Brenda has one too. She just didn't bring it. No, yeah. <laughs> and you didn't bring your Vespa. I, yeah. No, right. no, my Vespa is a police station. Hashtag Lissai. But you do have a mint green '68 Chevy Nova with the uh, dents in the front. But, um, cool. I go. I go back into the. I kitchen, drive in Ford Bolt, and um, I I drop two gallons of milk into a fryer and turn it on high, and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just make sure you get the garbage bags first. I mean, come on. You're gonna need those. So you're gonna put the dead body in the garbage bags. Yeah. Well, we're not gonna just carry them. I mean, I don't want to get like all of my trunk. I mean, come on. Right. If he doesn't really fit, I can kind of squish him in there. You've always got your hammer. You can <laughs> you can rearrange the yeah. hammer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Give him a few wax and readjust it. I okay, take so a picture. Make him round. <laughs> get the body back to the house. Now what are you gonna do? 
You guys, we have a body. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bad job. Bad job. In my defense, I missed. <laughs> All right. Put him in the basement. Put the, the two suspects in the room with the shell shock girl. And uh, let's... Should I, uh, can I go home and get my dog cage? Uh, sure, if, if that, that is is what makes you happy. Um, so let's figure out a plan of what we're going to do. Yeah. You guys, why why start should we now? start now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm in for tomorrow. We have three minutes to go. I don't really see a point in making it. <laughs> All right, then fuck it. Let's give you know scout some more bullets and let's keep going. No, I, I, I'm um, actually I'm for a plan. Even if we I, just pretend like we're actually okay. going to execute. Here's it. here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take what's his name, Peter. Peter, yeah. I'm just going to call him Peter. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to take Peter, and I'm going, to take, I'm going to take Gloria, and I'm going to handcuff each of them to the ghoul on a different arm, obviously. They're, the ghoul That's is terrible. like mincemeat now. No, just oh, headless. Just head. yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I thought you rearranged him and fit him into a garbage bag. No, no. Garbage bag. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's one of, you, you know those, those, those garbage bags that stretch? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the flex, the flex, the, the flex one. kind. Yeah, yeah, the flex one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. In the, in the, in the spirit of moving things on, um, you, guys, are you, you guys are going to sleep the night at the vampire show. Is that, is that what I'm understanding? Yeah. Okay. I am. You're somehow tying up all of the people, and then everybody's staying at the vampires out overnight. Do I have to be at work in the morning? Yes, you do. At this point, I mean... Would you like me to... I can hack into your work computer and give you a, a personal day. <laughs> yeah. Or you just call in sick. <laughs> I have people depending on me, okay? <laughs> Poor people, people who are at the lowest ebb of our society, depend on I me take, every day. But if I you want to hack in and get me a day off, that's cool. I take a picture of her as she's saying that. <laughs> and start a tumbler. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Are you going to pin it? <laughs> Deluded people. <laughs> I pinned this page. Oh. So next people, day. People who end up on my team. All right, what do you want to do the next day? I look to Autumn. Autumn is an authority figure here, and she can help lead us. Autumn, so what should we do tomorrow? Let me, let me actually lay down what your options are. Okay. Your options are right now, um, you, 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 you want to meet with the, find <coughs> out who is exactly meeting up with Peter in order to give the drugs to Peter and Gloria to steal, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. So let's just move to that. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we're going to do anyway. We have two minutes. Okay, cool. <laughs> Next, well, you know, I'm, I'm going to let it go as long as we can. Um, yeah, no, wants. I'm up for it. Let's, let's uh, get to the next action. So the next day, um, Peter tells you where it is that, he need, that you need to meet him. It's by the, the railroad tracks, um, uh, by the water somewhere. Mm -hmm. And... Um, what do you how, what do you what are you gonna tell him? What kind of instructions are you gonna give Peter? Um, uh, I volunteer to go in his stead and say that he got sick or something. And, uh, can I go on the drug buy? Your regular drug dealer got <laughs> sick, so <laughs> yeah. And you don't know me, but I just was. Just like, you're gonna have to convince him of convince whoever it is that you're seeing of that. Can I, can I go on the drug buy? I have three hundred dollars. <laughs> And you just bought a new hat specifically no. for a drug buy. <laughs> it's got a it's got a veil. Yeah. So that people can't see me. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Oh no. And I buy and I buy a vintage Bauhaus t shirt because that's what you wear when you because go on that's a drug buy. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should go to Mooney's plan. Alright, yeah. so me too. Mooney, I want you to, to roll for me uh it's a uh, manipulation plus subterfuge. No, nobody asked you. You can roll. Six dice. Two 
let me know them. <laughs> you know how to solve this, everybody. Listen to me. <laughs> no one ever listens to the cat. <laughs> and I'm going to spend a willpower point to get a whole total of one success. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <coughs> Blah, blah, blah. I want to hear you. So you you head to the park and you head to the to the uh, to the appointed place to meet and um, you meet up with a guy who has who looks like this and he has with him about four other goons that, that look like goons they're big guys that look goonish and uh, all right. I hold up my hand. He it down and he says, uh, "You're not Peter." I, I, so, yeah, I hold uh, up. Pete got there. sick, Chris. and he asked me to go <laughs> instead because he ate some bad bacon and he's just been <laughs> in the all morning long, and it's it's really bad. Uh, that's not our agreement. Ask him if he's really wearing those checks together. <laughs> Looks fine to me. But, you know, I understand this is extenuating circumstances, but I'm just here to, to do for him in his stead. Okay. Where are the rest of you during this time? Are you, are you going to watch somewhere, or...? I'm, I'm going on the buy because I want to go on the drive. Yeah, and I'm I, I'm, I'm oh, yeah, parked in the car up on the cliff or hill or whatever overlooking. I'm... Is the when all goes to hell, I'm hoping to be able to assist in some way. I give within Warhammer range, you know. I I give um I give uh, Brenda a parabolic mic and headphones. <laughs> from my I, I'm in the car with Brenda. Okay. Okay. Um, he um he thinks about that for a moment, rubs the bridge of his nose, looks at you over um. Just from the, the the two people, I guess, who are there, I want a, a wits plus alertness roll. Wits plus alertness. Okay. I asked him if he likes my hat. I got none. Uh, I get two. Two successes. Okay. He doesn't smell human. Um, what he smells like, actually none of them smell human. Um, what they smell like is reminiscent of some fae that you've been around before. Mm. So he, oh wow, he rolled badly. I, 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 I elbow uh, Mooney and, and do this like expressive thing with my eyebrows. I can't see what you're doing. You're wearing a veil. <laughs> and I forget. <laughs> so I just elbow her. <laughs> no hashtagging. Okay. He says that. So I'm trying very hard not to hashtag as I speak. <laughs> I did. No, no, because Autumn made me leave my phone in the car. He, oh, he's, wow. he scratches the, the, the side of his jaw and he considers that. He says, well, do you got the money? Yeah, I got the money. And, um... I'll reach into my satchel and pull out whatever money we uh, were given or took or whatever. He, he nods to one of his goons who walks forward and uh, takes the money and looks it over, and he, he nods to to the dude and and in understanding, and so he hands you a briefcase. Hmm. What's the tip on this? How do I tip them? It's like okay. You don't tip goons. Uh, tell Jeffries if uh, if there's anything funny about this, I'm gonna kill him. Funny ha uh ha -huh or funny uh oh. Funny not right. I'll let you know. Right. Then he gives a, a, a salute and he says, uh, "See you later." Sure thing. And him and his goons uh, turn around and walk back down the... Uh, and then I just turn around and jump and wave 
in like that, giant that guy, motions. That guy obviously wasn't human. Who wears checks and stripes? <laughs> Uh, Brenda, do you, uh, do you want to try and follow these guys? Yeah. <laughs> Why not? So, are we in your here. police car? Uh, sure. Um, oh, she, you can run them over. Probably not the best way to surreptitiously follow someone, but, you know, we can try. My, my Vespa's in the trunk. You, do have the you guys can take my Vespa. You do have the capability to turn into a wolf and follow a trail. I would like to do that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, you can roll stamina plus primal urge um, to shift, or you can spend a what did I say? Was a rage point? I like oh. spend a rage point. Yeah, me too. Let's just make that, that easy. That's a no to running the motor. And, and you do have time. to take off your clothes before you do this, otherwise it's kind of actually. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to rip my clothes all to shred. I paid a lot of money for the suit. Yeah. <laughs> On your on your social worker budget. That's right. <laughs> you know, and Taylor isn't really cheap, so. That's my worst bit of fabrics. All right, so I'm gonna Classy. ask for a uh, hashtag yoga pants. Perception plus primal urge roll from each of you. Let's see. Uh, should we all do it, or? Are you guys gonna go just as a happy little pack of dogs and and and? I mean, I was going to just drive, you know, in the car and run them over, but, I mean, whatever. Who are we running over? Well, they're getting into a car and, and, and leaving. Primal urge and what? Perception. Perception. Cool. So I hop in the car with Siggy and ask if I can work the lights. Um, my lights don't work, but sure. I got three successes. And we have to, what? What's the difficulty of the roll? What am I aiming for? Oh, um, six. I got two successes. The the phone that I left with Autumn has actually been taking pictures this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's skeezy, man. Skeezy. Okay, so you follow the descent along the railroad tracks down towards the um, parking lot of Larrabee State Park. Oh my god, I can't believe I just remember the name of that place. And um, there they get into a black SUV and they turn around and they head out. Can we follow them? You can, but it's going to be hard, much harder to follow their scent now that they're in a vehicle. So if you want to do it this way, um, it would be the same role, but your difficulty level would be 9. Well, um, but but we have Siggy and and uh, uh, Scout. Scout, thank you. In the car, can't we just all pile in? Oh yeah, you could do that. I mean, okay, let's do that. Where's Where's Moon in all of this? Eating a sandwich somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to destroy all these drugs. Just by destroy, you mean ingest them? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean destroy them. The way like you destroy a chocolate cake. <laughs> no, the way like it's bad for my people on the streets, and I'm doing it for my people on the streets. Oh, what a dude! Uh, but hang on, don't destroy them yet. We might need them. I recommend punching them. Punching the drugs. <laughs> what? Punch them right in the face. Punch them right in their drug noses. <laughs> yeah. After mentioning that, I think Scout makes a little meme image. All right. You follow them back to um, to Eternatech. Ah, okay. We so knew it. Members are fairies. Makes so Which I make an animated strangely of, for uh, a weekday. Strangely, strangely for a weekday, the parking lot is almost empty. <clears throat> There's the black SUV that they've parked, followed at a safe enough distance so that they don't see you. And then there's um, there's another couple of sedans in the parking lot, but it should be full and there's there's nobody there. Mm. Okay. Maybe they're having an off-site lunch. <laughs> Maybe they're having a retreat. Maybe they're making vampire drugs. Maybe. Yeah. 
Well, once they get out of the SUV and head in, I recommend you guys, like, piss all over the SUV so you can make sure and always have the scent. I'm all for that. Yeah. <laughs> like, do it on the other ones, too, just to make sure. Yeah, any any vehicle that looks official. So you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna shift again, or are you? No, they sh- they're still in wolf form. They never. Yeah, no, we're yeah. still. Wolf. They're in the back of the car and they're in their wolfy form. So you're gonna get out of the car and go pee. And pee yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, I can't. I'm in leggings, so that would just be too much work. While you're doing car, that, the four you know. goons who were repeated were previously in the car come out. Now, I'm not afraid of no goons. Well, we're gonna do that after they had gone out and left, though. I, I would they, like to they got out. out and they went into the building, and there's security yeah. cameras all over the place. So well, you see be wolves yeah. coming up and peeing on their own. I'm gonna spend a point of uh, willpower, and I'm gonna hack the system. Hashtag okay. Hack the system. Yeah. I'm gonna feed a loop of old Tom and Jerry cartoons into their security system. No, it's too late. You guys already did it. You can't go back and, and undo action. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, I see. So they've come out and now you're going to do it. That's you're what he's doing, doing while we're... It's, we're it's right. a distraction. Gotcha. Because my shooting people is ineffective, so I'm going to do what I can do. Okay, intelligence plus computers. Uh, that was like... Seven, yeah. Six. What was my target for that? Or my, what was my difficulty for that? What are you doing again? I'm. Oh yeah, <laughs> You're hacking the computer. That's actually the, the eight. Don't I get a bonus be- or something special because of my? Can I send a spider or a, a rat or a giant worm against them and? Um, oh, maybe I should do that. Maybe I should, instead of hacking and putting a Tom and Jerry cartoon into their security system, I should do something more effective. Like, I, I will I will send a giant worm into their computer system and 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 take their data and copy it someplace else. <laughs> okay. <it's laughs> really I, I'm using the cinematic hacking rules that are that uh, Hollywood has given us. I'm going to hack the Gibson. It's still an intelligence plus computer okay. role. You can okay. use the well, to give a couple of extra success or get an extra success. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, what did you say my target was? Eight. Okay, so including that, I get three successes. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I pulled. Are you this, trying to I get pulled, all of their information? Yeah, I take they. See, I reach into uh, into the pocket of my of my uh, locally sourced uh, cardigan, and I just keep pulling out this large worm. It's it's kind of purplish and glowing, and it's probably about eight feet long, and it just kind of curls up in the air above my head as I'm pulling it out of my pocket. <laughs> wow. And then what happens? And then I I. I whisper to what I think is the little worm said what to do, and it, it, it the back end of the worm shakes like a puppy, and it goes right off at the building, and disappears into the side of the building. Was three successes enough to? Uh, it's going to take a little bit of time, so you don't notice. Okay. Okay. For the the wolves that are peeing on the car. Yeah. Uh, Cars, all of them. All the cars. All the cars. Yeah. Squat and pop in a squat. Um, <laughs> the, the the goons have come out, so I want you to roll initiative, which is uh, dexterity plus wits plus one d10. So it's like it's so you, and and let me let me explain how that works. That's you add the scores of your dexterity and wits. So if it's two and two, it would be four, and then you roll one d10. Uh, do we all uh, have to roll? Fifteen. Only those people who are actually out of the vehicle and uh, willing to. I would assume I'm out. So. so what's what? initiative again? What? What's initiative again? It's the the total of your dexterity plus wit, so whatever that number is, dexterity and then roll one d10 and add that together. Okay. So, roll 
Seven. Well, that's, 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 that's um, 13 for me. Probably put that in the chat. 14. What do you got? 14, 13, 7. What's yours, Sarah? 15. Dang, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Sarah and one of the dudes goes first. Sarah goes first. I'm, uh, I'm gonna attack him. Okay. So, uh, are you just going to jump on him and try to tear his throat out, like, you know, a wolf would? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's going to be your dexterity plus brawl to hit. Um, what is the difficulty level for that? <coughs> While they're doing that, I'm going to take out my DS and play Super Mario Kart. Okay, you do that. Um, I'm going to say that the difficulty on that is a 6. Mario right. Kart is a 6? No. Three... Yeah, like no, two successes. Three successes. What the hell is the... Okay. Oh, man. I hate having to look crap up. Where would be? Oh, I need special com close combat combat maneuvers. There we go. Trying to bite. It's already plus one. Your damage is strength plus one. What's your strength? My strength is three. So you did four points of damage. Well, which is okay. He's gonna be stunned. Uh, next, badass. because you did four points of damage, um, or four levels of damage as it goes, and then the next person's turn is who got a fourteen? Moody, what are you gonna do? Um, while everybody's engaged in violence, I'm gonna actually try and stink my way up to the. Uh, Actually, probably not to the front door, around to, like, a side door. Okay. So, do you want me to stealth, or...? Yeah, um, that's just plus stealth. At a difficulty of, uh, six. Six successes. Okay, so you're there. The door is locked by, a, a, you know, a card key lock. So, uh, next round, you'll have to figure out how to open it. Yep. Okay, so then one of the dudes gets to go. And then Josh will get to go. Okay, so. Oh, he didn't soak. I guess. No, it's not much damage. Okay. So one of the one of the guys comes around and grabs Brenda by the scruff of her neck, and then lifts her up and throws her against the car, um, causing four points of bashing damage. Ah! Does the car alarm go off? <laughs> Why did you have to ask that? Damn it! Yes, the car alarm goes off. Great! Now the cops are going to find out. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> right no, I mean, here. no, I mean the, the real cops. <laughs> Whatever. The people cops, not the vampire cops. Yeah. Do I have to explain to you again about being a vampire cop? You know, if I wasn't a wolf right now, I would I would say something really snarky. How much did I say you get hit for, Ethel? Four. Hashtag I roll. You can spend a rage point to prevent yourself from being stunned next round, otherwise you'll be stunned. Okay. <laughs> and you're currently mauled, so you're, you have a negative two difficulty. Next round. Uh, now it's Josh's turn. 
Okay, I throw the hammer. Oh my. Hashtag throwing it at. There's two that are unengaged. There's one that Autumn's tearing the throat out of. And the one that threw Ethel's character. Okay. I'll throw it at him. And I get five successes. Oh, wow. That's on my hammer. Never yeah, Hashtag does. stop. Hashtag six. hammer time. That's six. He's almost dead. In and totally more. stunned. So there's two That's more. It's now one of those turns. No one has Could I have. Well, I didn't spend Rage Pint, so oh well. Um, another one of the other ones. One of the ones that's not engaged uh, turns to try and get the wolf that's trying to tear out his friend's throat off of him. And he manages to grab her by the scruff of her neck and, and yank her back. The only uh, problem with that is that she does get, does get her disengaged from the dude's throat. But in the process, she also tears the dude's throat out. And now he's laying on the floor bleeding to death. Um, Hashtag bleed out. <laughs> Yeah. The last one pulls a knife now and approaches the prone wolf on the ground. That would be us. Oh shit. Die. Damn it, I just lost a life on Mario Kart. <laughs> and he and he and he cuts into your um your arm and it hurts like Hell, because it's uh, it's silver apparently, and you take three more points of aggravated damage. Oh, one question: Since my warhammer is iron, if they're fey, does that have any effect on them? Um. Well, yeah, it's aggravated damage. So either way, it's just aggra yeah. aggravated damage. Okay. I mean, I thought it might do more. Yeah. Okay. No, you've already got a badass weapon as it is. Um. Okay, so that's that one. Who am I missing? Uh, now it's Ethel's oh, turn. Except you're kind of so you don't get a chance. So I am not stunned because I'm. Let's see, how many rage points do I have to spend? One. I spent one, I one. think. Yeah, I've spent one, but that means I I, I had three total, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna spend another rage point to not be stunned. Um. So I never gave myself a weapon. Was I supposed to? No, you just don't have a weapon. You, yeah. I mean, you're in wolf form, so you have your, you can buy. Yeah, it. yeah. I'll just I'll just attack as wolf, and I'll attack the guy closest to me, the one who's trying to screw me up. Okay. And what do I do? Dex plus brawl, and your difficulty is going to be five. Dex. So. No, okay. Oh man, I'm not much of a fighter. No, you're not. Whoa, I'm rolling things off the desk. That's why I'm hiding under a car and playing my my DS. Oh, I got three successes though: a five, a ten, and a seven. Mm. All right. So, what is your strength plus one? Up three. Okay. Okay. Two more. Oh, that's the guy. You are in lupus yeah. form still, so that's a plus one on top of that. So you killed the guy. Yay! Trying that that did so much damage to you. Mm-hmm. Uh. Okay. So that leaves three. One of them is almost dead. The other two are completely just fine. And now it's the start of another round. So let's just keep our. Should I should I engage? Should I join the fight and and shoot something? No, you're you're more of a liability to us than to them. I'm almost dead, so I don't know that I would necessarily turn that down. When am I gonna learn something about my worm? Uh, it's been about three seconds, so. Yeah, it's like it's like years for my character. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, now it is. There is. What, what did you say? Initiate. Uh, so you guys don't want me to join the fight? 
You can if you want to. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Okay. What do I? What, 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 what did you say initiative was? Roll one d10 and add that to your. Uh, was it Dex and Will? No, Dex and, Dex and Wits. Dex and Wits. Okay. Eleven. I think Sarah is still AFK. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Which is why I figured it would be a good time to get into the fight. Want to have her just like hold her turn? Or... Um, I'm going to use open seal so he's home next to the line. Okay. okay. I rolled a nine and six, so two successes if the difficulty is six. Okay, yeah. The uh, difficulty is actually going to be eight. So one success. Okay. So uh, you do manage to get it open. And it's uh, it's just a, a hallway leading along um, a set of, of doors to offices and cubes along, and stuff along those lines. Okay. Um, can you go into like just the first office and sit there and hang out for a bit? Just going to wait. You know, I could always... Um, I could always try to heal um, Brenda. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that could be good. That would probably that would probably do less uh, damage to us than my trying to shoot into combat. <laughs> Maybe. It might. It might. Uh, whose turn is it right now, though? Sarah's. Oh wow! I thought we were gonna have her. Can we have her hold her turn? Oh yeah, we're gonna have her hold her. Um. So then after Sarah, who got fourteen? Oh, he already went, and then so, that's your turn, Josh. Okay. So there's I hit one guy with a hammer. He was almost dead and stunned, right? He's actually and, dead now because. Uh, oh, because uh, Ethel killed him. Yeah. Okay. Ethel killed him. Okay, okay. So you have one guy bleeding out. And, and the other guy, yeah, and the other guy's bleeding out. He's pretty much. And out there's of two that are okay. Two that are untouched. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my hammer at one of the ones that are untouched. Okay. Let's see here. And that is a... Ooh, one, two, three, four, five successes. That's a lot of successes. Yes. Can I just like a rage point or something to do a bit more damage to? Can you? I don't know. Can I? Is that a thing? Can I like throw it with extra rage? Yeah. Now with extra rage. Because I have like nine rage points, so I might as well. Um, no, but you can spend a point for an extra action per turn. So you can spend oh. you can spend as many points as you want for an extra action per turn up to your dexterity score. Okay, so I can throw can the hammer twice. Yeah. yeah, but um, Sweet. yeah. Sweet. So yeah, I hit one. And then it comes back. And then, and it, then mm-hmm. I'll throw it and hit the other one. That's okay. And one, two, three successes on that one. Hey, 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 you killed the dude. Sweet. Yes, Chris? What's your rage? Did I kill both of them or just one? Your current rage. I have you one, one rage one left. The other one. The other okay. one's not shake, but he's not dead yet. Sweet. Okay. Sweet. And that makes it... <coughs> His turn. But he's actually stunned now. Like yes. have okay, guys, means... let's just like put him, put him down. It's Chris's turn. All right, I rush over to uh, Brenda, and you can't uh, the guy right now, he's stunned. He's the last one left. If you want to just do that, you could do and, that. Now nah, I'm yeah. gonna go ahead and, and heal her just to be. <laughs> so I'm gonna rush over, and I kind of, uh, um, um. I rub my hands together and go, this, this, this may uh, tingle a little bit. There's <laughs> an awful work. pain right now. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually have any healing Wait. powers. I'm just going to taser you. <laughs> um, what, what is your current rage at right now? After? I already asked her. She said one. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. Yeah, which makes this really easy. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Okay, so one, 
two, uh, six successes. Wow! Completely heal her. <laughs> and I jump up and I give um, I give. Uh, and then I taser her. <laughs> I give. What's your name again? Scout. I give Scout a big wet one right on the mouth. And then she tasers me. <laughs> you knocked my hat off. I just brought that hat. Yeah. Yeah, when thanks, you can go and rip the other guy's throat out. It'll be great. Yeah, yeah, it's your turn. So you can rip the other guy's throat out if you want. He's prone, so you can really have to roll. All right, yeah. What do I do? Do I have to roll to finish him off? Since no, he's... just tell me. You can... Yeah, I just rip him to shreds. Okay, he's dead. Yeah, you hop up, walk over there, and just bite. Yeah. And then I and then I kick him. <laughs> Good job, <laughs> yeah. Good job. Well, everybody's dead. Yay. Except that that the first guy, the guy with the with the mismatch pattern suit, is is not he, he's not dead because he didn't come out. Yeah, we're gonna go find him. <laughs> so now, Mooney is in the side door waiting for you guys. You guys are out in the parking lot with a bunch of bloody corpses. Just another day. <laughs> Um, I could always um, can I can I use a spider to um, to get Moon into the through the um, the key lock? What? No, Moon already got herself through the key lock. No. Oh. You you guys just have to walk in after her. That's yeah. All. Which I think we should do now. So you're in a hallway. We do that slow. We, we walk abreast, and we do that slow motion thing with the wind blowing at us. Uh huh. The two of us are wolves. And that's okay because my yeah. lovely wolfen locks are like rippling in the breeze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're in a hallway, um, and your your wolf nails are are scrabbling against the tile, and um. We have wolf nail. I just had a mani pedi. <laughs> And uh, to your to your to your right is a door leading into a cube farm, and to your left is a is a bank of clear windows leading into a laboratory. Both of which have all of their lights off, like nobody's been there for a while. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna. If you move forward, there's an elevator bank that leads down into the basement levels or up two levels, and there's a reception area, and there's more cubes and shit downstairs mostly. I'm going to uh, wipe my hammer off on one of the cube walls, you know. I want, I need a turn. Can we? Get, is there like a computer terminal? Well, yeah, there's computers all over the place. Are they contemporary computer terminals, or is it like some weird like 1980s shit? With the giant CRT and, and a green... Actually, to, to, actually, there aren't any computers because everybody has laptops and they take them home at night. So there's a lot of monitors and keyboards. But there's, really any there's a network connection somewhere. Yeah, there is a network connection. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, um, your worm comes back now uh, completely gorged with information. Mm, sweet. I kind of... Uh, I, I stuff it into my tablet. Do you want to look at the information? Through a USB port, or how do you do that? No. Magic. Yeah. If you want to try and find information and in they're related to what you're doing, it's going to be an intelligence plus enigma role. Enigma role. Hmm. At a difficulty level of seven. Intelligence plus an edge like seven. No, let's go. Come on, Scout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What, uh, you said uh, seven? Yeah. Uh, three successes. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I'm sorry. Two. I got a one, so two okay. successes. So you, you find some information on a new product called Infinilife. And um, Infinilife, there's, there's quite a few case studies on it. Uh, it looks like it's... Um, it's the, the genetic combination of a a where of, of a vampire's blood plus a regular human's blood. The first two attempts at creating a host to do this fail uh, miserably. You can see in there. The first one actually turns into a vampire. 
then apparently went on a killing spree before they got control of them. The second one um, killed themselves. And the third one is apparently currently locked up somewhere in insane. You guys! They made bad shit. Where's... <laughs> where... Oh, yeah. <laughs> is that the chick that we have that was insane, or... or not? What? Or not. No. The chick that we... no? Okay. She wasn't a vampire, she was just a human. She was cattle. Let me... yeah. No, but somebody, right? Oh, and you find records. Oh, go ahead. And you find records apparently of several. Um, they call them blood donors being detained in the basement. You know what we should do? We should find a police officer. <laughs> That's <a> ridiculous <laughs> idea. And we um. should, and we should, we should tell the police officer to like, you know call the cops because there's a vampire conspiracy? Well, we can't do that because we can't let them know there are really vampires. Mm. <laughs> so we call the vampire cop. We've had this There are no before. such thing! No such thing! That's, right, sir. that's exactly what the vampire cops want us to think. Ah! Why don't you go track down the conspiracy? I'm going to go down the basement and see the vampires. Okay, fine. <laughs> I've got a YouTube... <laughs> I, I, I share the link to a YouTube video with you. No. <laughs> I will not click on it. <laughs> Are you rickrolling her? No, no. It's, <laughs> it's, it's entitled uh, VampireConspiracy.mp4. Yeah, not, not doing it. <laughs> right, eat, did, what, you know, what? did you know it turns out vampires aren't sparkly? You can take the stairs down to the basement, or you can take the elevator. Oh, elevator, elevator, elevator. Elevator. The elevator requires a key. Um, I think we should... Not for us. Only if your 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 uh, Bonar uses his gift again, her gift again. Yes, please do. Is that me? No. It's no. Mooney. Oh, Mooney. <laughs> I can try. Uh, nine and a seven. Okay, you succeed. Uh, you could have done it too. Probably could have hacked. So it, if we're still at a difficulty eight, that's one success. Okay. Okay. Guys, so I have the passcodes. There are two. Yeah. Well, there are two. It's a key card. You'd have to have the physical device. There are two. Well, or you can make your phone the physical device. So there's a couple of ways that you can get past that. You just use one of them. Um, there's two basement levels: B one and B two. We've access to either now. B two. Um, B two. All the way down. All the way. Oh, down. We go down the hole. When the door opens. Tiny Tunes reference, sorry. Ray, ravenous vampires being chained there? Something? Let's hope so. When the door opens, you see um, this dude standing there waiting for you. We see who? I, I think she's trying to share a picture with us. Mary. Oh, that dude. Douchey oh, the guy. dude. Douchey guy. I go, look, douchey guy. The jig is up. We've got a vampire cop right here. You're all now, under arrest. Now, Scott, <laughs> I'm not sure I agree with you that chess plus stripes automatically equals douche. No, no, no that no. guy's a douche. It's written all over Well, okay, face. let me explain. I take his, I grab his, <laughs> and he's, he's got, got, he's got, and I blow my nose on he's him. Got, he's got two different check patterns. Stripes. <laughs> And a really, really, really douchey uh, pocket square. <laughs> yeah. Really? Which I, just, which I just used for a, a, a kerchief. I mean, if anything, I, I would argue it's the expression on his face and not his poor taste in clothing. No, I, I think that the, the, the expression on his face is overly um, vapid, actually. Yes, he gives you all a smoldering look. <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're having this conversation. Can he it's look any other way? That <laughs> <laughs> yeah. man was born to smolder. <laughs> so, uh, hey there. Hashtag not intimidated. <laughs> I, I I don't I don't I don't believe any of you people have uh, clearance to be down here. Oh oh, our country, my friend. We I have. I hold up my warhammer. <laughs> it's covered what? in their blood. 
Yeah, yeah, I know you killed my friends. You're not going to have that much success with me. I'm, I'm, I'm sure. Mm. So are you going to tell us anything so, useful, or you just want to throw down? I, I take his picture and tweet it with hashtag fashion victim, who wears, <laughs> who wears, who wears a waistcoat anymore. <sighs> he does, apparently. Hashtag bay douche. So I would I would suggest turning around and going the other way for your own safety. I think we should just murder him. Yeah, I send him so I, send, I send him on his personal phone a link to a YouTube video. He doesn't have a personal phone. <laughs> wow. He now. Look, in, look in your pocket. Aha! <laughs> now you have a personal phone. No, he's got a pocket square in his pocket. That would be his inside pocket. <laughs> Is that like your inside voice? So what are you doing now? I, uh, I'm attacking him. Mm -hmm. um, he doesn't I'm doing care. Form. Oh. He doesn't care. Is that what he you said? Like I can't even try to attack him. No, he disappears. Yeah. Oh, he oh. disappears. It's like I believe. I believe the GM just railroaded us. <sighs> that, that was oh. our. Did you hear that sound? That was our player agency. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> You tried to attack him, he responded. <laughs> oh, that fucker. All right, let's get the vampires. They'll help us kill him. That's true. <laughs> I think we should set fire to this place. Oh, we totally could. I'm okay with that. I find the kitchen, and I drop two gallons of milk in the deep fryer. <laughs> There's no deep fryer in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, the hell I kind of think we is. should rescue the people who have been kidnapped. Mm -hmm. What was that? That was a voice of reason. I think we should rescue it. the people. Yeah, that might be a good idea. You know, it's up to you guys. There's, you can go right or left. If you go right, there's a set of labs. If you go left, there's a uh, blocked door that says restricted access on it. I Let's bet we rest a blocked door. Yeah. You know, if they're not strong enough to save themselves, then, you know. Oh. All right. then, then we so, just have to set fire to them. Exactly. <laughs> The, the black door is made out of steel, and it's got a keypad on and next to it um, with numbers. It's not the RFID-based keys like everything else has been. So, how would you like to open the door? I think we know the code numbers. I call up. I, I look uh, into my uh, all the information I have on my tablet, uh -huh. and I find the code number. Uh huh. And then I jam a cell phone into the thing. <laughs> uh -huh. And I do timey wimey jiggly pokery. Uh huh. <laughs> and then I use the keypad on my cell phone in place of I um the keypad and I punch in an access code. Okay, intelligence plus computers. Your difficulty is going to be eight, and it's mostly just to find that information. Let's see. Difficulty is eight. Yeah. One. Uh, two. Uh, Ethel, roll. Um, no, actually, I'm not gonna pick on you first. Let's see who can I pick on. Um, Josh, roll me your what's plus perception. And how many successes did you get, Chris? Uh, two. Okay. I just shot you with a laser, didn't I? <laughs> Maybe. Uh, I was in perception are okay. It's a frickin' laser. What do we gotta do to get a frickin' laser in this place? What's the difficulty? Hashtag sharks with lasers. I got three success Seven. regardless. Okay. Um, okay, you feel something behind you. Okay, and I react by you know, spinning around really fast. At the same time, the door clicks, but when you try to open it, it feels like it's barred from the other side. Josh, when you turn around, you see nothing in front of you, but there's something just not right about that nothing in front of you. Oh, can I swing at it? Yes, you can, but it gets to swing at you first. Uh, roll your stamina for me. Like, just... Just okay. for stamina, yeah. And it's a difficulty of seven. 
Uh, get one success. So um, that before you get to actually reach out and swing, whatever that shimmeriness is, um, reaches out and slashes you across the cheek, and it hurts like other. Can I like soak it or something with willpower or whatever? You, you soaked one point of it. You take three points of aggravated damage. Ah, it's aggravated. Okay. Um, I do have this resist, resist pain thing. If that. That'll just that'll help you. So I think you'll you'll be at a negative one now. So if you use that the next time, you won't have to take that that bonus. I mean that negative that penalty. That's the word I'm looking for. <sighs> so. But you can also swing, so that's your dex plus brawl. If it, okay. They're basically happening at the same time. Well, since I have more Warhammer, do I use the Warhammer thingy, or is it different? It's Well, if you're using your Warhammer, then, then yeah. it's dex plus melee. melee. Okay, so that's three. Melee is three. Can I spend a point of rage or anything? Um, you can spend a point of rage. I do get three successes on that. Um, if this counts as um, uh, a fight, can I spend the rage point to do another action and swing yes. twice? Yes, you can. Okay, sweet. So I'll do that. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, and five successes on the uh, second swing. Uh, you hear an oof sound, but then the, the shimmery presence in front of you disappears. In that. Like even after both hits? Yep. <sighs> Can I, like, kick around on the ground to see if maybe it collapsed? What? Can I, like, poke around on the ground to see if it, like, just collapsed, or is it, like... Yeah, it's not on the ground. No. It's gone again. No. And now you're in front of a door that's unlocked but is barred from the inside. I, uh, let the guys know that, you know, there's some invisible bastard attacking, and, uh, we should watch out. That's not cool. <laughs> So this whole bastard is attacking us? Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I hit him a couple of times, but he, you know, did his bastard thing. My question is, how can you wear checks and stripes and be invisible? Magic, apparently. I think what we need is a bucket of paint. So if he checks and stripes invisible, he can make a bucket of paint invisible. Yeah, probably. The room we're in, is there anything else in it? No. You're in a hallway. Oh. I'm going to try to use open seal again. Okay. Uh, I was just double checking it. It says it'll unlock anything that's actually locked, so I'm guessing physical barring would count as that. I got one eight, so one success. If it's still difficulty eight. Oh uh, yeah, okay. You hear a sliding sound on the other side. Like, there, I made a sound effect. <laughs> now do it with the Scottish accent. And now, <laughs> and now the door's open. And on the inside of here, um, there is a a large lab area with. With all around the lab area, there are doors that look like cell doors to that go into. Other, they look like modern cell doors, you know. That's got a, it's like a steel door with a window in it and a place where you would actually put food and like a food tray or something like that. But in the lab is a is an elderly gentleman that looks um, well, not elderly. He's 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 like he's Chris's age and. Um, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he's. He, he's he's sitting at one of the the computers and he looks up rather startled as as you all barge into the room and says, "What's going on here? Who let you in?" I taser him. <laughs> I hit my mouth full. 
Um, I, I would start to say something, but you're tasering him, so yeah. What are the actual rules for taser? <laughs> I don't know. I, I, haven't, I haven't had a chance to use it against someone that wasn't uh, defenseless. <laughs> I think it's either in the base rulebook or the uh, human supplement stuff. Right. If you got that. I don't. Wait, you don't have a teaser. What have I been using for the last couple of hours then? <laughs> I I know. Where did you get a teaser? <laughs> Out of my backpack? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. I have resources three. You stunned him with it. But that's about it. He's stunned. So, now what are you going to do? That's where we came from, bitch. <laughs> I'm going to channel David since he couldn't actually be here tonight. Oh, yeah. You're a superhero? Yeah. <laughs> so I'll go uh, peek in the, uh, one of the cell doors. Uh, in the first cell door, you see... Um, Two, two women that you recognize as prostitutes that disappeared about three weeks ago, and they look very, very uh, emaciated. Mm. They've been freed from slavery? <laughs> no. You know what I mean? Yes, I know. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> Okay. And so, if you look at all of the other ones, are you going to look at all of the other ones? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and a couple of them, and three of them you sent Vampire, and um, one of them actually looks like Albert Applebottom, the owner of the... Albert Horse Applebottom? Thing. That's his name. <laughs> Albert, Albert Applebottom, the vampire. <laughs> that is the best vampire name. <laughs> I say, um, was there a computer terminal with the guy? Did the guy I, I taste a computer? Yeah, he's at a computer terminal. All right, I'm going to, you know, um, start nosing around and... Although I already have most of this data on my... Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. You have, yeah, you already have all the data. So, and, and part of the data that you saw is um, that the current host that, that is being studied happens to have the same last name as the CEO who you just teasered. Um, I just, it, wait, I would have recognized him because I know the CEO. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Now, let's back Which up. is probably why I tasered him. <laughs> yeah, you probably knew he deserved it. You did recognize him. Well, he's the only person more paranoid than me, so... <laughs> Also, I should know of him since I know his daughter. So yes, you do know of him. You you probably hadn't met him. Well, actually, I may not have dealt oh, with him yeah. face to face, so I might not have realized it was him. Okay. Yeah, I'm you tell it to me because it because I, well, I do most of my yeah, like that really matters to my character. You probably googled him at some point. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, I, yeah, I I do most of my hiring not face to face, so. He looks familiar. www.vampireconspiracy.com <laughs> leave, leave an instant message and I will get back to you. Uh, 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 let's see. Chris, what's plus perception, please? I'm sorry? What's plus perception? Okay. Um, what's plus to recognize him? Sorry, okay, what's plus alertness? No, that's not what you're rolling for. What's plus alertness? Oh. Yeah. Okay. You have three dice. While he is rolling that, you the said that game. the current subject has the same last name. What's the first name? Or is it Jet. just last name? His first name is Jet. And actually, um, um, Josh's character knows that name because he's his sister's best friend's brother. Oh. Um, <laughs> I got one success. What was my well? Yeah. What was my difficulty? You feel something six or seven? Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I got one success. Wait, eight. I changed my mind. I still got one success. <laughs> <laughs> it's ten. <laughs> it was okay. eleven. <laughs> oh fuck. Okay. Now I don't have a success. 
you feel you feel that kind of like a swishing sound. Fucking checks with stripes guy. <laughs> I, roll your stamina. I hear his. I can hear. I can hear his pocket square. Rustling. <laughs> Rustling. Uh, what am I rolling? I'm sorry. Uh, your stamina. Um. Okay. It's wiped. Uh, what's my difficulty? Seven. I get one success. Okay. So he slashes at your arm and, and rips through your clothing and gives a big slash on your arm that hurts like hell. Motherfucker, I just bought this shirt. And all of a sudden the room is filled with Smurfs. Just at least that you see. Smurfs. That I see. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm the only one that sees the Smurfs. Well, I mean... You don't well, know that. I'm going to assume that I'm the only one seeing the Smurfs. <laughs> and um, I just, you, yeah, I go fuck, not again. Who's looking through the? Who's looking at all of the cells? I am. Cells. Um. I don't know so anybody else. So was uh, so was Sarah. Autumn was looking at the cells too. I don't think either of you know Kira, do you? No way. Um, I no. would, considering you know my sister, but. But you're not looking in the door, so you you know. Mm -hmm. I well, assume the character would have been on you know alert because of being attacked before. I'm probably helping look through the doors. Okay. I that, uh, look for, the, look for the one. Look for the one who's pissed off. You do find Kira in one of them, um, and she's she looks as emaciated as the rest. Can I go full Wolfie now that I? Know that since I'm Mooney would know her having crashed at my place a bunch. Yeah, and I kind of watch after her sometimes, so I will definitely let you know that your sister is here. Yeah. So can I go full woofy? Sure. Awesome. <laughs> it's been a rage point or roll it, depending on you. You want to go into Krenos form, I imagine, and yeah, be angry and um, werewolf like. I've spent like about four or five rage points. I've got like four or five left. I'll spend a rage point. I've got tons of them. I assume that pissed me off seeing my sister like that. So uh, yeah, do me a favor and roll the total number your your permanent rage, not the number that you have right now. So roll the amount of uh, dice. You have nine, so yeah, your difficulty level is going to be seven. Yeah, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I get six successes. All right, you, you, your good friend, um, what's your last name? Oh, yeah, your good friend Sig starts to lose her mind. Awesome. <laughs> She's not really in control of herself either. What, what exactly are you? Are you, are you, you, you are going, you're going into a frenzy, which... Can I, like, start sensing the, you know, the dude in the checkered outfit now? Because I'm, like, full-on wolfy. Yeah, you got a pretty good idea what he smells like now, where he is. Awesome. I'm going to go rip his head off. <laughs> okay, so um, roll initiative. Sweet. Is that for everyone or just me? Just you. Okay, cool, cool. That was dexterity and... It's your wits plus... De Wait, what is it's, it? It's wits and dexterity plus, yeah, 1d10. Okay. You got So that's going to be eight. Eight successes? I don't know, eight for the initiative. Oh, right. So your initiative was <laughs> like, what are we doing? 800 successes. Yeah. He's going to go for... Okay. So it takes you about a turn to actually turn into a, a werewolf. Mm-hmm. And during that period of time... Um, I do have my resist pain going too, right? Because I spent the willpower for that earlier. Yeah, yeah, I think that's the whole thing, isn't it? Oh. Yeah, so you're not, you don't, you're not operating at any negatives then. Um, you do, however... He does, however, appear behind you and um, sticks a sword through your side. Jeez. Nah, no biggie. And that does three points of aggravated damage. 
Okay, cool. Can I rip But now he's visible again. So yeah, you can turn around and, and, and get a good Sweet. So I just want to go like all... I just want to go like full ham on this dude. Uh, full so, ham? What does that mean? Full ham. That's hard as a motherfucker. <laughs> that's good. Uh, so that's Jack plus Athletics plus my bonus of security. That. That's one, two. Okay, that's two successes. And I get a bonus strength for being in wolfy form, so that's plus four on top of my four, so that's eight. Mm-hmm. Plus the two from the uh, iron hammer, so that's what ten damage. That's aggravated. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you rip his head off. Sweet. <laughs> I'm just gonna upload all this to to, to the <laughs> internet. <laughs> Well, the delirium has an effect on anybody viewing it, so they wouldn't know what they saw anyway. No, 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 no. The data on my, on uh, my. Uh, oh, all the data on my fabulous. Okay. So, in my frenzy, can I rip the sword out of my side and just like decapitate the CEO with it? Sure, that awesome. that's how you want to play it. Go for it. The one yeah. that's already unconscious. Yeah, yeah the one that doesn't it can stop me. That's pretty much what I'm gonna do. Hopeless. Yeah. yeah. Um, while he's uh, doing that, <laughs> no can one I cares. start? Huh? No one cares about that either. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of care, but I'm not going to get in the way of you and the thing you want to murder. Yeah, I, I, I see this as therapeutic. Um, <laughs> can can we start letting uh, <coughs> captives out of their cells? Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I want to start. Are any of them in frightened shape? Uh, no, not no, no, nobody is. Uh, and and there is one cell where the the person inside of the cell is in a straight jacket mm-hmm. and is um actually attached to the bed that he he's on and he's screaming nonsense. I I don't want to let that guy loose. And Cat that is Jet for anybody who actually has that knowledge. I don't think we let him go, but we bring him with us, because we're yeah, going to... but we don't want to burn display. the place down. We want to leave him in a straitjacket. We don't want to kill him, but we don't yeah. want to let him loose loose. Right. Let's not be hasty about this. I think we do want to kill him. In his particular cell, it has a drain in it, and there's, there's like, remnants of blood all over the walls and the floors. So they've been keeping him fed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll uh, I'll go over and uh, unchain him from the bed, but leave him in his straight jacket. He's still ranting and raving and screaming like a lunatic, and he's fighting and he's trying to bite you. So well, maybe if his parents had named him Applebot, this wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> no, no, this is an Albert. Albert's in another one. In fact, Albert comes out um, of of his particular hell- cell and. <laughs> And and says and, and thanks you all profusely, as well as the other vampire that was being captured, as well as Basha, who ha- happens to have been in one of the cells. Oh my! And that happened. Oh, Just as we've seen her last. <laughs> I think that they now all owe us a favor. Yeah, yeah that for Apple Bottom. We kind of killed his ghoul and burned down his restaurant. Yeah, I think his favor should be by, not killing us by, by we, we mean these complete strangers that we've never met. <laughs> um, totally lost because I would, I would never burn down my favorite breakfast burrito place by throwing gallons of milk into their deep fryer. Um, the, the guy who is in the... Uh, straight jacket and is screaming. I'm gonna do one of those really terrible uh, illegal choke holds uh-huh. and drag him out of the cell. Awesome. Can I heal him? <laughs> Are you a TV evangelist or something? <laughs> He's gonna walk up there and bah, cure him of insanity. Yeah. Um, uh, do me a favor and roll it. Um, pretend that he's got a rage of four. Me? Four, yeah. Alright. So I walk over and I smack him in the head with my cell phone. Okay. <laughs> uh, intelligence plus empathy. <laughs> <laughs> 
empty. Oh, man. Oh, that's rich. <laughs> that, my friends, is the real irony. Okay. I'm sorry, what is, what is my difficulty? Four? Yeah. One, two, three, four successes. Yes, four successes. Okay. And then and then I go like this and I take a selfie with him. <laughs> <laughs> you need a stick. I flash, stick. I flash the peace sign and I take a selfie. Yeah. Hashtag with it. Hashtag. He calms down awesome. a bit and, and starts to become a little bit more lucid and asks you guys where he is. What's going on? Where am I? You're in a dangerous science type place and we have to escape you right now. Escape me? Where's my dad? Who's right. your dad? <laughs> Who's your daddy? That's the important question. Mm -hmm. Actually, who are you? <coughs> oh, my name's Jet. 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 What's, your, what's your last name, Jet? Blankenship. My dad runs this place. Oh. Oh. Um, yeah. <laughs> your your dad went on vacation. <laughs> I'm still in wolf to the form, Isle of Taser. Still frenzied, and I'm still kind of like ripping up his dad's corpse. <laughs> 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 well, at least in our defense, at this point, the corpse is not recognizable. <laughs> So I'm just going to I'm going to perp walk him out of the. Uh, <laughs> okay. I, I throw I, I I take off my card again and I throw it over his head so you know so that no one can photograph him further. <laughs> where, where are I going? Where are you taking me? What's going on? I demand to know. Yeah, I just can, keep walking him out. Him. Yeah, just stun him. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So, so technically, that's that's pretty much the end. Um, Wait. Don't we get to go back and report to Betty or whatever her name was? <laughs> Betty. <laughs> <laughs> Betty the vampire. I mean, no, Betty the werewolf. werewolf. Yeah. I, mean. I get werewolves and vampires. Yeah. Myself. I think I think we should I think we should report and explain to our boss what we've done tonight. I think we've done excellent work, frankly, and I think we deserve some more cookies. <laughs> hashtag, hashtag awesome sauce. More. All right. Cookies. Well, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna take the dude with you, or? I think we should yeah, take. Yeah, yeah. We should take. take we should take the CEO's head. There's no. not much of it left, actually. No, that's too gruesome, even for Betty. Uh, I kind of yeah. started with that part, so. Well, it's that's okay. Say really that we've destroyed the lab that was <sighs> using vampire blood to create a menace to society. Yeah. I take pictures. So that yeah. you can show. And yeah. at, while we're driving back to to the pack house, I'm going to make a PowerPoint presentation <laughs> for our night. Did we bring any body bags? We still no. have that whole roll of garbage bags in their trunk oh, here. Yeah, yeah, we do. The flex ones. <laughs> Are you are, are you are you gonna burn the place down or? Oh yeah yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yep. Alright, we're leaving the burning building. Yes. We, drive we, away. Do, we do bring the goons that we killed outside inside, though, to make sure they burn, too, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That makes sense. And, and, we and I have some Clorox wet wipes that I keep for when I'm doing social work, because, you know, and uh, <laughs> I, I, like, clean up the area a little. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I uh, pocket that silver sword. What? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's smart like move. If you want yeah. to get it out of me, from me. <laughs> you How long does my break. frenzy last, by the way? Yeah, I said, you need to de-frenzy before we finally yeah. get out of here. Can I? I'll just taser her. <laughs> I don't think so. No, I don't think that'll make it worse. That might just make the frenzy worse. <laughs> <coughs> she's, a, she's a get Auburn. and you just kind of have to let her wear herself down. <laughs> So, you know, you guys all leave the building and, and you, you hear know what? hearing the plane. I, 
He says, if you don't actually have to set fire to the building, because she does enough damage yeah. that, that, you know, it, it eventually starts on fire all by itself. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I know how to, how to help Siggy. Um, Autumn, are you cool? No. <laughs> I'm still a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Not saying I'm a good cop, but I'm still a cop. Are you a vampire cop? No. If you're going to do that shit, do it like at least around the corner or something, okay? All right. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm, I'm going I'm to get uh, Siggy high so she feels better after her frenzy. <laughs> oh, you wait. That oh, is oh, a terrible that, idea. That is a very terrible idea. <laughs> if, you give werewolf, if you give vampire blood to a werewolf, they frenzy. No, 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 no. no I'm no, not going to give vampire blood. Like, we're doing this old school. Yeah, we're just going <laughs> to smoke up. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's it's okay. It's hydroponically grown weed. <laughs> right. It's organic. Yeah. Somehow it's strong locally enough. sourced. Yeah. Oh, it's definitely locally sourced. <laughs> if my closet is local, then it's local. <laughs> <laughs> There's gotta be a role like. I've been make. I've been to the farm, so yeah, it's local. <laughs> How are you going to get a frenzied Kranos guru to smoke weed? Um, I'll shotgun her. How would you... <laughs> oh my God. Or at least right. that's what I've heard you would do in a situation like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I have ever smoked weed. Me either. In a long time. <laughs> 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 and, and I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to put. I'm going to put my earbuds in in her ears, and I'm going to play some Lana Del Rey for her. Oh God! Don't do that. It'll only make things worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. The new album's really good. She eventually wears out all of her rage, and. Uh, Manages like sits outside and smokes a doobie with. Uh, it only it only took you know uh, it only took three listenings of the Sam Smith record. <laughs> and the place burns. Awesome. Yeah. And we get more cookies, right? We go back to the pack house, and Morgan is not at all happy with the fact. Hashtag that mission accomplished. Killed uh, the ghoul and burned down the restaurant. Uh, if you had renown, you'd probably get for that. <laughs> by by we, you mean a group of complete strangers that have nothing to do whatsoever with us. Dude, we still have the ghoul's corpse. They're not going to buy that. <laughs> <laughs> we rescued the corpse because we believe in the sanctity of the human body. And as punishment, she makes you guys do all of the cleanup work for this particular mess you made. Which means a lot of paperwork for Sarah. Oh. Well, my job here is done then. <laughs> and I go back and I turn on, I turn the CCTV cameras back on. So all the, all of, so the light, the, the, the intersection yeah. lights start working again as well. Which yeah. Has resulted in multiple traffic accidents, but no fatalities. <laughs> Alright, so... There's, like, I, a whole lot more, like, social interactions in there that I'm beginning to realize would take, like, several sessions to actually <laughs> Well, it kind of depends on who your players are, but yeah. I mean, with the shrink that we're all going to have to visit. <laughs> Wait, there, there was supposed to be fighting in that one? In what one? I don't think that was a joke. <laughs> are we still live? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to tie up then since we're... Awesome. So say goodbye to the internet. Bye internet. Bye, Happy ending time.